And we're on. And we are on again. <laughs> Hello, our friends, supporters. I know it was short notice tonight, but we just decided to try it again since uh, all the great feedback. I know a lot of people have already prior engagements, but we're on. We're ready to talk. Anybody wants to drop by, ask any questions, uh, chat. Uh, looking forward to seeing you all. Oh. Hello, train man. <laughs> oh, train man. Oh, my God. Such a pleasure to have you here. It was so nice to see you there last night as well. That's great. How are you doing tonight? Let me just get this set up. Like I say, we're still a bit clunky at it, so thank you for bearing with us. Uh, we're going to be trying different tools and different ways of streaming this week, uh, I guess. So, uh, as Andrew said, bear with us. <laughs> uh, we'll try to make it more entertaining for you guys. Oh, it's all good. Oh, sorry, I was just turning this on so I can see as well. And also looking for somebody to be willing to come as a guest maybe uh, later on. Definitely. Uh, we don't want to try out how it works. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, so more than welcome, just uh, drop a message and we'll try to set it up. Train man, do you like your videos? Well, yes, definitely. We like your videos. Uh, I, I'm ha actually really happy to have um, some of the train community here. That's not been the easiest mark of the tap, and I know there's a lot of purists, and I appreciate that into it. And not all my videos are trains. Sorry, I'm just going to bring down my phone. But definitely, for sure. Um, let's see here. Sorry. I'm just, like I say, we're just still getting used to the to the uh, happenings. So, <laughs> And I hope you like ours as well. Uh, yeah, and please uh, share and tweet out our stream. As we said, it was a, a short notice, so yeah. probably not many people know it's on, but the more people we get in, the more fun we can have uh, with you guys. Most definitely. This is just, like I say, another way for us to kind of practice with the controls a bit. Um, just have some fun with it. So, you know, you're with us as, during our learning experience. Camera back a little bit so Xandy gets in more. There we go. Uh, oh, Arta Morbid. Uh, yes. Hi. Great to see you, hi, Frank. Frank. <laughs> Welcome. Five watching now. Good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be trying to follow the, uh, the chat more. So if you have any questions or suggestions for subjects and the themes, please do. Oh, Sea Otter. Hey, how are you? I'm assuming Rick is your real name, so that's why I wanted to address you by it. If it's not, please correct me, or I can go back to Sea Otter if you prefer. So glad to have you here. Ah, the man with the Estonian roots is here. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> it's always nice to have some neighbors in. And the other railroad man, both of you that were there last night. And just as a side note, because the way that we've been growing over the last month, and like I say, we're not exclusively trains, Love having you guys, and um, I don't know if you're aware of it, but we're also part of the I am a community, I am a creator community, and it's a great way to grow your channel. And you can uh, we can put up a link actually later, probably be the easiest, where you can add your video to a playlist. There's a whole community of people that are up and coming and watching each other's videos and supporting, and that's how we grew our channel. Because back on February second, we were only forty two. So I, you guys make great videos too, and I'd love to see more train guys get in on it. So uh, if you like, we'll definitely post that for you. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely. We uh, have been growing exponentially, uh, and even after reaching 1,000 uh, supporters, we are still growing and still thankful for all of the support we have. Most definitely. It's been such a pleasure, and you guys do such great work with like I say, it's kind of like family now. We're getting to know each other a lot more over time. So it really means a lot to have you guys here. And please, if you guys have any questions, anything uh, we can help you with, anything you want to know about us, what we do, uh, feel free. Oh, why are videos? And yes, I'm sorry, Trey Man. I did see you post. I seen that today when I watched the video again. I apologize. We're still quite new at this, and there was a lot going on last night. Um, how do we get them so stable? I'll show you quickly. 
I can actually show you my camera that I use. Uh, you guys are mostly familiar with DJI, who makes the Phantom drones. And this is the DJI Osmo. You probably see it more now without the camera because they built a version now where you can put your cell phone in. And this thing is worth its weight in gold because I am not a st steady person. <laughs> I've got what uh, I've got a bit of the shakes, we'll say. That's why I never liked to take my, I let, never really cared much for filming is because I'm very fussy and I didn't like my work, to be perfectly honest. Um, so this camera is controlled. It's off the Inspire. They're, I think it's a $4,000 drone, I believe. They're more pro end, but it doesn't shoot raw. That head alone would have been $2,000. So I use this. The controllers are right, uh, let's see, I'm sorry, right here. And you can control it with the joystick. Um, is a good way to do it. You can do almost 360 with it. You can tap three times and the camera will roll around back to you for vlogging and then tap it again twice to go back to street shooting. Can't go wrong with the Osmo. Great gimbal. Oh, you're taking off, uh, Brother Doom. Well, thank you so much for dropping by. And if you get a chance after, please come back again. It's always a pleasure to have you. And, uh, um, oh. yeah, just a quick question was about, uh, I, uh, we are photographers too. And is that, uh, our photographer, uh, photography in the background? Yes, actually, uh, we do photography too. Uh, I do photos mostly and Andrew do, does video, but this one is, uh, taken by Andrew when, uh, he was on one of his trips to Europe. And actually all of our, uh, pictures in the living room where we are at now, are from Andrew's trips uh, across countries, all over the Europe and some other locations as well. Oh, hey, Nelson. Great to have you again. These pictures here that you see starting here and over, this is from a backpacking trip that I did two years ago. Well, not ba well, backpacking in a way. I did uh, two weeks in Europe by rails. It was always a dream of mine, which Xenia happily supported. I appreciate so much. So... I don't buy magnets and stuff when I travel. So as you can see, our pictures are pretty much uh, my mementos from there. There's a picture from Iceland that Xenia took, uh, different trips that we... Uh, basically, the video that you've seen uh, with all the European photos, most of them came were ones that I used here from our uh, collection. Yes, Train Man. We're still subscribed to your channel. Yeah, I have actually commented on your last one. I just double-checked to make sure. Uh, you did the Burnaby Lake Crossing uh, video. So, yeah, no, most definitely. And I'll try to, I'm going to definitely try to get to more of them. It's been a crazy couple of weeks. Not that that's any excuse. I've been trying to get to everybody. So, But I definitely want to check out more. I, I'm really happy with the train, guys. That's... Um, that's always been one of my little passions. I enjoy it. It's um, I, it's something I do with my son. It was wanting to do something with him and plus get out and film when I didn't quite feel like going out. To, like, or, oh, there's nothing to see or nothing to catch. We go out and do trains together. So it was a great way to get out, do something with him. And the one-hour video, the uh, two days of trains across Canada, um, uh, across eastern Ontario, my son and I made a decision at 9 at night to leave the next morning at 4 a.m. And we spent two days. We drove the 250 kilometers of Kingston just using my phone with uh, Street View and looking for where would be interesting crossings off the highway, off the 401, and then slept in a McDonald's parking lot in my car all the, that night and then came back the next morning and spent the whole day filming on the way back. So um, I I love having train guys here. I know some of them don't like that I put music into some of my videos with trains and stuff. I understand there's purists. Um, I just kind of want to give things my own take. But I do like your work, and I am looking forward to more of it. We just got a big onslaught the last couple of days, and honestly, we were burning the oil at both ends. So <laughs> definitely try to see more. And this is the other part for my camera that I use. This is the Z-axis. It's bought separately. And this is what gives me the stableness for, uh, like, walking, even more than light running. 
and compared to a traditional uh oh my god now i'm forgetting what, uh you know uh, for stabilization where you wear it on your body uh yeah, yeah, steady cam, cam yeah where you have to learn how to do the uh, the duck walk and all those things this you pretty much don't need it it and then in the end i'll just do a little bit of last retouching in uh Last retouching in Premiere, where I'll add the warp stabilizer effect if if needed. But honestly, with this, it's held out pretty good. Took a couple of tries to get used to it, to get better with it, but it's coming. Oh, Doctor. Uh, uh, St Sten or Sten Sten, because he's from Sweden. Oh, so yes. Sten probably. <laughs> what a pleasure. Uh, hi. Uh, welcome again, and uh, as I was commenting earlier today, welcome to the community. I hope you're enjoying the experience. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen you on uh, James' uh, live stream today as well, okay, so welcome again. It's it's great. It's it's nice to see, but the, the 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 group is just keeps growing and growing. That's unbelievable. Always nice to see. Art Morbid, uh, uh, I hope you can see it. Just posted a link to our Instagram if you're interested in our uh, photography. Most of my work is there. <laughs> uh, so go check it out, uh, follow, and leave a message so I can follow you as well. Thank so, you guys for coming again. Yes, and like I say, if there's any questions, anything you might have for us, we'd be more than happy to try and answer them. If you want to know about us uh, our per personally or uh, what we do, some of the work we've done. Oh, great. He's going to add you on Instagram. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, That's what builds a strong community. Exactly. That's so amazing that uh, it's not only YouTube that we are expanding uh, connections in. It's also all the other social networks as Instagram and Facebook uh, and uh, uh, Twitter. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's amazing. So if you have any of those accounts, please uh, drop by, say hi, and uh, we'll connect over there as well. Mr. Zed is in the house. <laughs> hi. Hi. More familiar faces. That's great. That's amazing, guys. And again, if you have any questions, please uh, uh, can ask technical questions or private questions. Yeah. Uh, we're here to answer almost all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not a Dr. Phil type, but we can. <laughs> oh, what is the duck walk? Okay, well, that's hard for me to show right now where I am. But yeah, basically, if you look up steady cam duck walk, you're going to see somebody that because the steady cam is usually like across your chest with the camera mounted to it. Then that uh, compensates with springs and, and hydraulics when you're walking. But you got to just uh, bend your legs a bit to walk so you don't put such a jolt onto the steady cam. And that's why they call it the duck walk, because your knees are out. You're walking kind of a, a bit like a duck does, for lack of that's why the, the hence the name. Um, people are always amazed about uh, how uh, floaty look or drone look uh, Andrew's uh, videos are, and lots of that is achieved by driving a car. That's right. <laughs> while taking a video. Yeah. <laughs> and and because it is originally because the camera itself is off the drone, it's basically that's why I have to control it with my cell phone. There's a memory card uh, slot on the camera head, but other than that, that's exactly how you would be doing it if it was a drone. So what I like to do a lot is when I shoot something is never start at it. It's always moving and then comes into play. So I'm either coming down from an angle or I go in and come up like this. Um, there's the one I did with the LaSalle Bird Sanctuary where coming in the geese and a lot of people asked me if it was a drone. But I would hold the camera down low, start walking towards it and then slowly lifting it up because of the steady cam attachment. It compensates, and that's what gives it that floating feeling. Another thing, too, is I usually never carry it like where I can see it straight at my face. A lot of times I hold it like in a flashlight mode, straight in front of me. Mostly uh, here, put the camera down a little bit. Mostly around mid chest and stuff like that, and walking. Um, but yeah, I never usually ever start off filming directly at what I want to catch. I want to have some sort of slide in pan of. Uh, up and down or side to side anyway, but never uh, just pointing and clicking. I think we're both uh, always looking for different angles of how to look at things. Uh, yeah. um, like uh, there was a comment um, 
uh, Art Morbid uh, went over to our Instagram and looked at some pictures and especially mentioned our winter photos. And that's a great example as well. I could try to have a different close up or different look on the details on videos or photos uh, to show the world maybe a little bit different than how you see it in everyday life. What is the Ash in uh, our channel name? Well, uh, and very correct, Ash, that's right. <laughs> uh, Pusha. Uh, Pusha is a, a little village uh, around 50 kilometers from Russian border yeah. when, uh, where my uh, mother grew up. And uh, since she passed away in 2013, and we had uh, started this uh, business uh, a couple of years later, uh, Andrew had a great idea of uh, having like a tribute to her and naming uh, um, channel uh, after this village. Uh, we still go visit our family there and friends and uh, so it always reminds us of um, my roots, <laughs> our roots <laughs> and the place that we really enjoy to be. It's a, it's a beautiful place. Uh, let's see here. Art Morbid does have to leave because he has a band practice. Oh, oh. So you're a musician as well. That's very good. Musician and photographer. Love it. Mm. We should have you on uh, on as a guest someday. Definitely. Yeah, too bad you have to leave right now, but definitely please message us. I would love to. Uh, we have a nice day. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you very much again for everybody uh, joining in. Uh, Kylie, Mommy, Rose, uh, Animation Drawing. Uh, yes, Animation Drawing. Amazing channel. Please go over and check it out. Such beautiful work. Uh, sorry, guys. I don't mean to cut in, but I'll just inside this up. As you can see on the map, this is Latvia. I'll zoom out further because it is a small country. You can get an idea where it is. So you can see it's over top, like the Poland and Lithuania. Xenia is originally from the town of Riga, which is the capital right here. But Pusha is over towards here. Now let's see if I'm lucky enough <laughs> to. I'm usually pretty good at it. There's the resigne. So, uh, Aguana. Let's I, see how close we can get in the map. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I got it. I got it. And there's the town of Pusha. So you can see right around here, and here is the Russian border. There we go. And that's where her mom grew up. And I believe if I try this, let's see if this works. <laughs> now, this uh, looks a little like spying, right? <laughs> but you can see uh, how beautiful it is. This is an actual place uh, that our name comes from. Or This is a village called Pusha, uh, where my mom grew up and uh, uh, my extended family over there. Um, far down that hill, this is the house where my mother grew up um, and her family. So if anybody asking or wondering where the Pusha comes from, this is exactly where from. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to share a story with you. Now, this one's going to take about three minutes, but it's probably one of the most interesting stories that I ever heard in all my travels. You can see where the house is here, and if you look to your left, you see trees, and the same over here. During the Second World War, Xenia's grandparents at the time only had their oldest child, who was about seven months old. And in these trees were the Germans. In these trees were the Russians. And this was all disputed zone. Now, any men that were caught in the middle were automatically shot by both sides, but not the women and children. So over this hill behind the house and down behind the barn, there's a pond. And to this day, when you go down, you can still see the little gulches that were dug out where Xenia's grandfather had to hide from the Germans and the Russians. And this went on for a good while. Once in a while, he could sneak back in the house at night. His uh, wife would put out like a load of laundry or like a lawn and laundry or something to show that it was safe to come in for a little bit, but then he'd have to leave right away just to see his grandchild and his wife. 
his son and his wife, excuse me. So eventually the Germans were pushing ahead and they made it to the house and the house became their temporary base. And when you're in that house, you're just walking on the same floorboards that the Germans stood on in World War II, planning their advancement against the Russians who were, like I say, in these trees along here. Xenia's grandmother had to flee with her now about nine-month-old son in her arms, went down over the hill, and as the Germans, as the Russians came closer, they were divided by this lake. It would be sudden, it would be guaranteed fatality for her grandfather if he didn't try to save himself. She was hiding in the woods, holding her child, and he began to run across the pond, but it was frozen, partially. And the Russians and Germans started firing at him from both sides. He disappeared. She thought he had been killed, only to later on find out that he had fallen through the thinner ice in one section. But thankfully, the Russians and the Germans thought that was the same fate for him as well and, and receded from the pond, which gave him enough time because it was just going to darkness to get himself to shore. And basically, that's what saved his life. And the ruth ruthlessness of them was unbelievable had he been caught. And there was a house down the road, a bricklayer, who actually built a chimney with a cubbyhole big enough for him to contort himself into and hid there for many weeks. But unfortunately, at one point, one of his neighbors was caught and gave him up, and the uh, Germans showed up, and several of them with their rifles, and just shot relentlessly into the chimney till there was nothing left to it. All the bricks were smashing, and of course he was inside of it and didn't survive. So I know that's not usually what we do with our channel, but I thought that would be a nice uh, story to share with you guys. I always found it complete, so amazing. And it's always nice to hear a version of how it was for them during the war, because we had grandfathers and fathers and great-grandfathers who went to fight, and this is what some of them had to put up with and or live with or on the on the front so just a little bit of a story for you yeah it's amazing uh to listen to my extended family to my mother's uh, brothers and and um other generations as well to hear these stories from wartime um <clears throat> especially from both sides as well since um this story comes from my mother's side and then from my father's side uh, they were um fighting on uh, the russian side um like really in the trenches so to say yeah. for, a <laughs> country, for a country who occupied them i mean and they had to support them exactly my grandfather was uh, flying a plane uh, in world war ii um on the russian side so it's it's very oh. interesting <laughs> i i am so sorry Ex excuse me i i i missed part of when exam was saying that yes on her father's side and her father was russian and he was a general in in the air force uh, amazing man, <laughs> lots of medals. I wish I could have had the pleasure to meet him. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Take it back off, Sherry. Um, okay. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> a little history. Yes. <laughs> Has anybody of you uh, have been maybe to Baltics or, or uh, Poland or somewhere closer or even Russia maybe? Somebody I visited there. Or maybe some of you are from uh, Europe. Uh, just give a shout out. Just uh, interesting to see where you all coming from. Actually, maybe you can just type up uh, where you're coming from. And I, to see. And we also have another train man in the house, Lake Erie 902. So great to have you. I was just telling all the train guys a while ago about uh, the uh, group we belong to, the I'm a Creator movement. It's a great place to get your videos in and get more people see what you guys do because you do great work. So. Yes. I, I love the train guys, like I say, because I know it was a hard group to tap into, and we don't exclusively do trains, so I really, truly do appreciate all of you, and especially you guys for always coming to check out our new stuff. It's great to extend uh, your um, people, your, your viewers, um, beyond... Um the interest of the channel. I'd be yeah. amazed now, but people are interested, even if their channel is not about exact subject. Um, like we have uh, discovered very many interesting uh, channels and people behind them. 
um, you would never think of. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yes, so definitely, if you haven't joined the community, please do. I am a creator. Uh, just do a hashtag search, and uh, you will see how mm. many are there of us. Uh, Kyle Mummy Rose. Beautiful. Yes, he says it was beautiful. Oh, she says it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, and we're just tweeting this out just to get some more people in. Please tweet it out as well. Uh, the more of us are in here and in the chat, uh, the more fun it is. Uh, yeah. Are we back? <laughs> oh, <thank you> <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, put this back a bit more so you can see it more. <laughs> oh, put the coffee back. <laughs> okay, well, uh, maybe you can talk a little bit more about your trips uh, to Europe. Uh, people love traveling. Yep. We're always ready to talk about traveling. That's definitely one of our passions for sure. It doesn't even have to be Europe. Anything you've done in North America, trips through this, even through your own state or province. Maybe you can tell about your travels. Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, the backpacking trip was really neat. Uh, it's something I always wanted to do. I uh, had an uncle who did it when I was young, and I grew up in a small town where nobody usually goes anywhere, so that was an amazing experience that I wanted to replicate. And uh, at 41, I believe, I did it, eh? Yes. Yep. And my uncle, unfortunately, had passed away from cancer. I had just closed my signage business. Uh, it was a kind of a weird time and looking for something, I guess, to kind of rejuvenate me and... <laughs> Finally, my loving wife decided that I should go live out my dream. And I had a bit of reluctance, and I'll put it off, and she told me not to. So a couple, well, that morning, I guess, it was all booked, and four days later, I left. I spent two weeks, mostly by train. I took a couple of hotels, <laughs> but I did 12 countries in 15 days. I took one flight in between because I landed in Brussels, but right away went to Luxembourg. Then the evening I took a train to Metz and then a speed train to Paris and spent 24 hours outside with no hotel, just walking the streets. And then I jumped on a plane and crashed. And then I, on, not crashed the plane, crashed, <laughs> was fall asleep. And I got off in Krakow, Poland. And from there, um, went to Auschwitz, which was one of the most amazing experiences of my life and heart-wrenching and a hard way to start off uh, travel so it was good to get back on the train and and pick up the pace and from there i went by train all the way to croatia and then up again through austria into salzburg i then went to feldkirch and then stayed the night and took a bus into Liechtenstein uh, for the day and then i went to switzerland and then i went to the alps and came back up into brussels and it was an amazing trip, one of the most amazing experiences of my life. Xenia and I have traveled together lots as well. Hmm. <laughs> uh, yes, I think we share a passion for uh, imagery, <laughs> both differently uh, for videos and for photos. And also we share a passion for traveling. Oh, sparkles here. Sparkle by Monica. Hi, you made it. I, I, I hope I didn't make you crash. <laughs> I uh, She was driving when I messaged her. Oh, no. Uh, yes. So I, I hope you're safe and sound. Thank you for coming up. Thank you, sick. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we're, we're just talking about our traveling experiences. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, we have traveled uh, a lot. Uh, thanks to Andrew, I have traveled uh, throughout Canada. Uh, I'd almost say from one coast to another. I uh, have visited uh, all provinces, yeah? Yep, every province, every, except for Newfoundland. Except for Newfoundland, which I really would love to visit this summer coming up, as I have seen so many beautiful uh, images and videos from there. I just can't wait to see it in life uh, with my uh, camera in my hand. I'm sure it's going to be amazing trip. Uh, can't wait. Uh, if 
anybody have you been there um please any tips <laughs> any suggestions um i would definitely would like to do that in the summer and um then we of course visited back in europe and in iceland as we were talking about that yesterday uh, we have gone to iceland a couple of times um since we had business there but also our wedding was there yep. uh, you can uh, listen about some more if you check out our yesterday's live stream video and we also went there with our kids on a family road trip for uh, a week um, that's definitely something that i would uh, suggest to anybody to go it's a place that uh, can't be comparable to anywhere else so if you're looking for a new vacation spot something interesting and believe me, it's not cold there. It's not cold. <laughs> it's just cold Iceland, but it's not cold. So if you're looking for new locations, Iceland is definitely something that has to be on a bucket list. Uh, Sparkle by Monica is saying that she loves our travel videos. Oh. And I've ever once travel channels videos make her <coughs> feel like you're not totally missing out. Exactly, of course not. The videos of travel, uh, travels, uh, it's it's so amazing. Like I get so much inspired by the travel videos. You get to uh, go places where I would probably otherwise wouldn't go, uh, wouldn't be able to afford or, or just wouldn't be able. I definitely, as I was messaging you before, I would love to go to States more. Uh, we have been a couple of times on the Northern part Uh, explore more of that now we went off I just gonna leave it for a sec <laughs> let's see <laughs> <laughs> I know no. I know actually I don't even know if we really need that TV connected or so, not. so are we back I, um, I think we're back. I believe so. Yeah, okay. So some some difficult technical difficulties. Sorry about <laughs> that. Uh, so I would love to go to States. Uh, definitely. Uh, I would love to go to States. I would love to explore more, uh, more of it. Uh, for sure, something else uh, to look into. And we love uh, doing it uh, non-commercially, I would say. Let's just just pack a, a small bag, drop in a car, <laughs> jump in a car and go. We love the gypsy thing as much as possible. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You guys might have to become my new check glass bead suppliers. Mine are all second hand. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, maybe when we go there. Check. Uh, yeah. Uh, did you like uh, Prague when you were there? I love Prague. I got to Prague. Oh, here, I'll put that back then. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I went to Prague and I was there for the day, got off in the morning by train, was leaving that night. And Canada was actually playing against the Czech Republic for the semifinals for the, the junior world juniors uh, hockey. And Sidney Crosby had just gotten there because the Penguins were out of the cup. And I ran into a guy from Calgary who was also there for the, for the hockey uh, tournament. And he actually convinced me on a metro we'd never met before to go with them to see if we could get tickets from a scalper. And we found some amazing tickets, but I didn't have any money. I was only using my credit card because I didn't exchange for the day. And it was, we joke around, so it was such a Canadian moment. Uh, he actually paid for my ticket, which was about, uh, I think it was $105 or something Canadian. So we, because there was no bank machines open because they were sponsoring the, 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 the tournament, so they didn't want a conflict of interest. But once we were inside, we could use the machine. So I took out the money and paid them back. And we watched Canada win the semifinals against the Czech Republic. And it was on top of all the, the, the on top of everything we seen that I, I seen that day and the, and the city is, I mean, just unbelievable. I, I could go, I'd go there in a heartbeat. It, it's so fun and cultured and 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 got a good nightlife feel to it and it just has everything you would want in a great european city probably one of the best cities i think i was ever in in europe so most definitely i would go back any day so if anybody needs me to go over you just got to say the word and i'm gone <laughs> uh yeah prague i think it's one of my favorite places in europe too uh i, I don't know it's just like a it's it's a it's a different vibe in it. I don't know if you ever 
had this experience and, and drop a note in the chat if you have. But when you go to a place for the first time, but your feeling is that you have either visited it before or you have lived there before. And that's exactly what I experienced when I visited Prague. Uh, I thought that I have been there, I don't know, in my previous life or in my dreams, but it seemed so familiar and so friendly, like I would know every stone on the cobblestone street there. It was am amazing just the inner experience. Uh, so I, I love it. I, I would also definitely go there in a heartbeat for mm -hmm. sure. Beautiful place. Uh, uh, Monica, maybe you can suggest some places in states that I should visit that are less commercial yeah. tourist places, <laughs> <laughs> but more something of interest for uh, off the grid path, so to say. Uh, would love to, yeah, as I said, would love to, to do states for sure. Um, I've traveled a lot in the States. I used to be a truck driver years ago. Uh, then I worked for a music company. I used to have a lot of trade shows and corporate events there. Uh, love the States. The States, is again, it's like Canada, even more varied because the States are, it's more divided, so you get more different, uh, more different, I wouldn't, not, not cultures, I'd call it, but vistas. Let's call it vistas, but always had great times there. I'm trying to figure we got a lot of lag in. Do we? I think so, yeah. Uh, if somebody is out there, can they, uh, you guys uh, maybe drop in a chat uh, if you are lagging our video or sound? Mm -hmm. um, just would be good to know. We're trying some new things here, so it's it's hard to say how it is on, on, a, on a back burner. Ireland. Ireland, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Ireland's amazing. I, uh, I landed, that was my next year when I went by myself, and then I went and did Ireland, Scotland, Central UK, and the Isle of Man. And I was like, ah, oh, Texas, Texas. <laughs> yeah, Monica's from Texas. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> so Texas, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I love Texas. I love Austin. Austin's one of my favorite places in all the states. See, Andrew has traveled to the States uh, more when uh, he was a truck driver. Um, so he has uh, experienced yeah. <laughs> a lot of uh, from States as well. I haven't had a chance yet. But a lot of way. passing through, you know, and that's kind of the... It's nice to go back now. I'd like to go back and really get to explore the place more because you, with the truck, you don't get to see as much. You see a lot of the highway. You see truck stops, you know, maybe going to. And usually you're not going to the nicest part of the city. So I'd definitely love to go back. But Austin was mostly for our music uh, business, and I loved it. Uh, yeah, and uh, Sparkle is uh, uh, also saying uh, that MFN Productions Scottish Castle videos uh, make uh, me feel like that is home. I Potato eating fair skin, <laughs> red hair calls out each time I watch his videos there. Yes, his mm -hmm. videos are amazing. And by the way, the video that you're talking about uh, from Scottish Castle is the castle yep. of uh, Andrew's mom's uh, Scottish ancestors. Hey, Rainbow Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and when he went to the Scotland, as he just mentioned before, part of his trip was uh, going to explore the, uh, the roots of uh, he, from his mother's side, and uh, he uh, followed our family tree discovery and found some of the castles uh, that uh, uh, his ancestors were living in hundreds of years ago. So one of them actually is the castle that is in MFN Productions uh, video. So that's how cool it is. <laughs> if you look up, let's see here. Oh, I got to turn because of the leg. I keep forgetting. No, I'm, I'm going on the channel window. There we go. At least I can make sure I point that properly. If you look up, that picture there between the acoustic and the black guitar, that's that castle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that oh, and you're in Mexico. Well, oh. right on the border with Mexico. So yeah, yeah, she's in Texas. That's okay. We yep. could travel so far. <laughs> That's right. No, exactly. Yep. No. 
we uh, should we should spot all of the iron creator uh creators you know all over the map and just have a, a road trip <laughs> yeah yes that's right yes i'm sure most of you guys are in the states <laughs> <laughs> we'll be like Winnie the Pooh and just stop in at everybody's house along the way. And <laughs> oh my God, Monica. Oh, wow, that's sparkle rific. <laughs> it is. How wonderful. No wonder all are all of you are such rock stars. You've got castle roots. <laughs> Love your castle, Andrew. Uh, Aw, you're, you're sweet, sweet as always, my God. You have been such an amazing uh, supporter person. Yes. <laughs> There's so much more just beyond the channel. So I just loving it so much. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just checking. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just working the controls back here. Uh, who, uh, Monica, and uh, maybe there are some other people, as I see. Mm -hmm. Five more watching now, so are definitely is. <laughs> uh, what would you be interested in as our next live uh, subject? Uh, is there uh, questions about photo or video uh, technicalities or something about uh, graphic design, something about uh, social media, anything that you would want to ask or would want to ask to focus on? Um, Please ask, and we would love to prepare maybe our one of our next live streams uh, focused on some of these questions as well. I'm just going to address Rainbow Man. He was saying amazing pictures everywhere in the room. We were telling Monica a while ago that uh, uh, my video that we just did, uh, Europe in three and a half minutes, has a lot of those photos in them. That's all. It's one from all, every country that we've visited, either myself or with Xenia. They all kind of tell stories. So I don't collect magnets. I'm not really into this stuff because most stuff you buy is made in China and they slap the name on it. So the only thing I really collect is memories and uh, pictures. And I think I can show you. Let's see. See up above as well. That's our wedding in Iceland in the middle. And then it's uh, Isle of Man in Northern Ireland. On this side and going down is all of our... Uh, the Baltic states and Spain. Maybe we should do a video where we go through them as a list yeah. or something. These are all the northern countries and um, Germany as well. And then in the middle, that's Scotland and Ireland. And then behind us, This is from the backpacking trip I did a couple of years ago. And these were all the countries I did in two weeks. Some of them we've been back to since, some of them we had been to before, but most of them were all new at the time. And Xenia is a photographer. And always remember any great photography comes from her. But this is my jewel. This is my favorite one that I took. And that was in uh, Ljubljana, Slovenia. And it was one of the most amazing places I'd ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, Sparkle is saying, uh, my video question is how best to make a promo compilation of all my insanity. <laughs> <laughs> sort of like a digital portfolio. I'm trying to figure out something like a collage, but from my videos, any ideas? Would you like to address it slightly? And then maybe we can uh, address it more deeper in a separate uh, live stream. Sure. Um... Find a song you like. Uh, a good place to find them is the YouTube library, um, audio library. And it's it will tell you if you have to credit the musician or not. And you can search by time. Uh, for anything like that, you don't want to go too long. I would say probably about a minute would be good. Um, keep all your files that you've done from your past work, your finished, processed ones. And just get a feel for the song that feels that says you the most, and then just drop them all on your timeline. Uh, I'm not sure which program you use for editing. I think it's a video uh, movie maker. If correct me if I'm wrong, Monica, but I think uh, you were saying that too. That's what you're using right now. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So, oh, oh, the I, I am creator. Oh, we got a notice here. The I am creator uh, Twitter is up and running. Excellent. Oh, yay. Perfect. Guys, go and check it out. As we said earlier, sign up to it. Whatever comes out from there, sign up to it. It's the best way to keep in touch. 
with everybody that's supporting just like we are it's an amazing resource <laughs> we've grown exponentially because of it <coughs> excuse me um check out the youtube site as well uh check out the playlist uh everything we said before times 10 always make sure you do it whatever is there whatever platform it's on join it facebook twitter youtube and work with it and this is where you get to meet the most interesting people that want to work with you that's what's so great about it you don't feel like you're it's not like the teenage jobs we used to get where we'd have to go selling books door to door to have them slam their faces the nice part about this one we already have leads because everybody wants to do it they're signed up they know what it's about and uh just make it work so yeah definitely go visit the i am creator twitter uh, and and definitely add it because you're going to get a lot of great info out of it and hungry trophy trooper hey great to have you another great show another one found by i am creator by the way <laughs> so this is perfect it's a real community it's nice to have you guys Really well. yeah, just, yeah. Oh, okay. As I said, I said I'm trying out different tools here. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> Tonight, if they feel a bit like guinea pigs, I hope not. We're just trying out some of the new features and stuff like that, and just to get a little more comfortable with it. <clears throat> Last night got so busy so fast, we never even had a chance to really play with anything much onto it. So, really, really uh, appreciate you guys' patience. Yes, thank you, Sparkle. We're just uh, trying the poll feature. Uh, if you have noticed in the, earlier in the chat, there is a poll question about what we should be focusing on in our videos. Um, so uh, please go over an hour later, maybe later, <laughs> <laughs> and check it out. And just so we know what we should focus on. Um, uh, also, I'm creator. I don't know if it's James or not. Before yeah, I know. He's hiding behind. I don't know. I think shadowing. he's incognito. Yeah. <laughs> so if it's you, just say hi. Uh, <laughs> Alan Oxen guy. Hello, hello. Welcome. Yes, that's a, always great to have Alan. Thank you for coming. Uh, definitely. <laughs> uh, again, if you guys have any questions, uh, please. Uh, and uh, yeah, by the way, Sparkle is saying that yeah, she's uh, still using the Movie Maker. Okay. Um, you've actually used it a bit more i just haven't used it in so long i kind of forget how it works can you edit clips like and cut yeah uh, uh from yes exactly i i would just uh, um go on andrew's suggestion about uh, keeping it short and dynamic uh so the same way <coughs> you're doing your video edit uh, for your regular videos just uh, cut the segment shorter um and choose a music that you like. Uh, you use music from YouTube, or there are um, also lots of other places where you can download it from the Creative Commons um, in the search filter, <laughs> and you'll get what you need. Mm -hmm. And just keep them short. And uh, yeah, and and if you have any questions, please email us or message us, and I would definitely, definitely uh, would love to help uh, always. Let's see here. Another. Are you setting something up? Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there, let's see. Huh? I I really like this feature. Um, yeah. There. So there's a look at our Instagram in case you haven't seen it yet. All these photos by Xenia. I am. This is our model, Audrey, our daughter, <laughs> who's always up for a gig. <laughs> As Xenia does amazing work. Uh, her photography is uh, she. I I wish sometimes I think to myself I wish I could capture in five minutes of video what she captures in one split second of a, of a, of a moment. But she really really has a knack for it, as you can see. I really hope you guys can check it out as well. She puts a ton of work into her pictures. I've seen her put easily four or five hours into one photo. Different scenes, different temperatures, different moods. Um, this was a painting. This is the final painting. Of, uh, this is the final, correct? This uh, one yeah. Here? From the video with Allison Robinson uh, where she was painting in the, uh, the, the photo. 
it was because of the contest to uh, celebrate Canada's 150th birthday. And they, she had submissions and she picked one from every province and territory that she would paint, show a display and gallery, and then eventually sell with half the proceeds going to the charity of uh, the creator, the, the phot photographer's choice. So these were some pictures she took while the lady was painting it. She, uh, the, the lady's a fantastic artist too. I, I to watch her is beyond amazement how she can do something like that in two hours. Hmm. Well, hey, I just posted our link to Instagram, so if you like to go over, uh, and if you do, uh, uh, and if you do, uh, just uh, uh, come over and say hi, uh, so I know it's you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, say I'm creator and I will come back and uh, check out your work as well. Mm -hmm. I'm just scrolling through for a few minutes. Uh, Rainbow Man says, beautiful, sparkle, um, such a beautiful family, great photos, girl. Thank you so much. Yes. It's good to see you, Rainbow. It's been a couple of days. It's, it's nice to have you here. I'm really glad that you found us on the live stream. As we were saying to everybody, this is still pretty new to us, so we got a lot of the the jitters, I would say, and learning curve, but it's nice to have people that support you, like you guys. Thank you so much for your, your patience and, and your support. Um, so Sparkle, thank you for all your questions, by the way, so appreciated. Uh, Sparkle is asking, uh, what are we using to share our screen about streaming? Oh. And she says, uh, she has so many things to learn and you all rock you're amazing <laughs> well we weren't too sure ourselves uh once again thanks to james cox from i'm a creator he was really great at walking us through how to do this <clears throat> that's why it's such a great community that he has because it's not just helping us get people to watch our content and subscribe he's also helping us do things like this and we really owe him for it uh it, once you're in google once you're in uh, google hangouts and you, that's what we use for streaming. Yeah, because yeah. we go to you go to YouTube and you put uh, cre uh, create stream, but then you go to event. You don't take um, uh, the first one because it's unless you have the software set up for encoding. So you create an event. What time you plan to go streaming? Well, ask. It's kind of like setting up uh, for a new YouTube page when you're uploading it. You pick your time, write a description about it, all the same things. And then once you, the event's ready, you can click onto it early, and then it's going to open up for you, and you're going to see it's going to you're going to see yourself through your webcam, and you don't have to start right away. That's the nice thing about it. So it gives you time to practice. And when it's like that, you can uh, look over to your left side, and you're going to have your tabs, and one of them is share, and then you can share the whole desktop, which I don't do because I find it very uh, pretty clumsy. I go instead to share an application and it will show you everything that's open on your desktop. So the only thing you have to make sure is that you, because this Google, of course, op Hangouts opens in a desk, in a web page, that you have another web page separate that where you want to view your things. And then you just select that page, it will show them as thumbnails and you're good to go. It just comes right up and then you just control it like you would a web, your, if you're controlling it on your computer, your web page. And when you're all done, there's a big white button at the top that says stop, and it will go take you right back to your webcam so everybody can see you. Uh, yeah. Um, you, I'm sure you can also find a video uh, how to um, how to do that. I know James has uh, one which shows exactly step by step That's the true. share video. Yes. Um, so if you wonder the step by step how to do that, go to James uh, uh, Cox's channel, and he has a video where he exactly shows how to set up a live stream, how to do uh, all these uh, things that Andrew just was describing. There we go. So yeah, that's some of, and then that's some of Xenia's work from weddings, uh, travels, all different scenarios. You'll recognize this beautiful lady as the girl from the, uh, she brought the 80s back to Montreal. Uh, this is Audrey in Iceland, our daughter. This is another friend of our, my nieces that was at the photo shoot this day, another very beautiful girl. A girl who didn't realize how beautiful she was till she had her photography session. And her mother said two months later when we went back to visit how much it had changed her daughter's life. 
And yes, boys were calling, so I don't know if her father appreciated the photo shoot so much, but she most certainly did. Definitely. I, I, I like opening uh, people's view about themselves. Uh, when I do a photo shoot, uh, it's more than just a picture. It's uh, maybe open, uh, opening up some of the confidence. Can you more just a little bit on just because oh, like, yeah no it's just I'm hiding because i'm looking at the chat uh so sorry <laughs> beauty runs in the family how awesome oh thank you sparkle uh. <laughs> and i hope yes uh welcome i hope we answered your question uh rainbow man says that he loves movie looking quality videos that we're making uh. i want to know a bit more about it please maybe you can start just as a process like how yeah. does it how do you make a video like from the start. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a paid program. I love your presentation. <laughs> <laughs> Does it really grow back the hair? I'm just <laughs> what is your inspiration? Yeah. Okay. Um, I just shoot with how I would want to see it in my eyes. I don't like holding a camera. I was just saying at the beginning, I don't like holding it up in my face. I like holding it more from the chest. Uh, almost everything I record is done that way. I never shoot anything straight on to start. It's always some sort of pan or a float into it, so there's always movement. And I take lots and lots and lots of takes. Uh, I can have the same. Uh, she brought back the 80s where you see the building. I literally, uh, there's where you see the building at one point pan up. I shot that left to right, up and down, standing up, kneeling down. There's probably 25 takes of that one shot. And then I cut it when I go home and start editing. Uh, I shoot everything flat because my camera doesn't shoot raw. If any of you do not know what that means, Xenia shoots in raw, meaning there's basically no color almost to it. It's very flat. And you add the color back in in post, which gives you more control. And especially for video, I shoot flat then because I don't have it. I basically remove most of the color. So it's easier to match shots that were taken on different days, different lighting. I'll even out the colors, which is called color correction. You can That's a hard process to explain, and it's unique to everybody. So I would say uh, look up color correction for whatever software you're using. Certain things like Movie Maker and that you can't do color correction. It's more of an advanced feature. I hate doing it. It's probably my biggest pet peeve because I'm fussy and I can never get it to the exact way that I would like to see it. But here nor there, I still try to do my best at it. Once all my footage is all evened out color-wise, then I'll bring in an adjustment layer. And that's the great thing about using and working with layered nonlinear editing tools. The layer has nothing into it, but I can apply an effect that goes across the board to all of them. And that's when I'll bring in and um, I have a plugin called Film Convert Pro, which is pretty cool. Got a lot of great presets, and it's also very, uh, uh, very modifiable, which I like. Uh, sometimes though, I'll just do it on my own. And the key for cinema cinematography is to give it that real look. Is your black bars top and bottom change everything? It gives such an amazing perspective. That's why I shoot everything that way. And I'll always shoot with heavier blacks and not go too high on the color spectrum. I know when you shoot with a great phone, uh, uh, Samsung S8, or they're, the, the colors are very vibrant, but they're also extremely hard to work with if you want to try and color balance them with everything. Because they're actually so, they look nice to the eye at first, but they're very blown out. Where I don't use a quarter of the color that they're using, which is, if you look at film, or anything pretty much a major television isn't so heavily saturated. Uh, there's a color spectrum. I always stay in, like it will show you, they call it the range where you can go and if you're outside of it, you um, certain broadcast television wouldn't show your video and stuff like that. Well, I stay, if that circle, I'm down around here somewhere. I never go through it. But where phones and point and shoots and stuff usually will branch way past it. Uh, it's it gives a feel that's what it it's the creative feeling the same ways when you have great music that you listen to and it really makes you feel good you you that's a good rhythm it's running you, you can connect with it it's it's all the same art is art whether somebody's painting playing guitar i use my music interest that i had all my life is heavily influences my video editing 
because they are connected. And I'm zooming in. I looked at every every signal up and down to find exactly where that drum that drum kicks, and I want it dead on. And sometimes you got to bring it a, even a millimeter ahead of it, so it sits in the middle more, just to give that pack that changes almost like a shutter being clicked on a camera. It, to me, I get to, that's probably the most exciting part of it when something's fully edited, following the music. It all works in, in unison. And once again, because we don't use voice in most of my film, it's that much more crucial to tell my story that way for people to be able to connect with it, to enjoy it, to, uh, to, to, to be inspired. It's a feeling. The same as Xenia with her photography. I mean, look at the, one of the pictures you maybe seen a while ago when I was floating by was my daughter's boots in a puddle of water and how she caught all the droplets. I mean... That picture says everything. Um, and we have more people joining in. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Raven Rain Books. Uh, hi. Bottle uh, Caps is here. Always great to have you. Real Life Trader. Uh, Twin she, Video Production. Just watched another one of your videos today. So glad you could make it. CC's World Australia is just popping in uh, before shopping. Uh, it's midday in <laughs> Australia. <laughs> All across the world. Thank you so much. CC World and I have a kindred spirit. We like, uh, I had noticed we have an in, uh, uh, a similar style, uh, the way we work. I, I love his work uh, as much as all of you as well. On a technical side, we kind of have the same outlook, I notice a lot. So it's always a pleasure to see his work. Um, Bottle Caps is saying that the wedding video makes them cry every time. Oh, isn't get. that nice? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's so sweet. They were both those ones I posted because they were both friends of mine. Uh, the uh, native wedding uh, I went to school with uh, the groom, and and the funny part of that one at the time, my wife first started as a business deal. So, uh, they found us, and I didn't realize until it was all booked. I've got to stop using this thing. <laughs> And I forget about it every time. <laughs> Sorry, guys, if you're still there, I apologize. <laughs> We're hooked up through our home entertainment system, and it's got so we can hear you on the surround. And uh, the only issue with that one sometimes is that the receiver times out. <laughs> so my deepest apologies for that. <laughs> You are great sports. Yeah, if we disappear, just stay, stay by. So yeah. Were, <laughs> so getting back to the subject. Yeah. So uh, the, the uh, yeah. So we got we get to the wedding, and uh, my wife had been telling about it, and I didn't realize up until the moment I walked in that the groom and I had been friends since we were five years old because it's a very small town. And Joe and Hank's wedding. Uh, Joanne, the, the the lady who got married that day, we've been friends since we were basically babies because she grew up in the house next to us, and that was one that was the first wedding we had ever done. So there is a lot of connection with those. So I really appreciate when I hear that you uh, connect with it like that. That's amazing. Have a great weekend, CC. Thank you so much for stopping in. Hopefully, we can uh, have you back next time when we have more time. I actually love to have you on sometime. We really want to start bringing people on, and I'd love to talk to you about that if you're interested. I know that with the time differences, it might be hard, but maybe we can work something out. I'm creator channel. Uh, just liked and tweeted our stream. Thank you so much. Uh, please, guys, uh, uh, tweet it out. Uh, uh, let's get some more people in. Definitely. And if anybody would like to go as a guest, as our first official guest, uh, please uh, just uh, say something. <laughs> I'd like to bring in James sometime, and then we're going to put him in the hot seat for once. <laughs> we're going to ask you 20 questions. Yeah. <laughs> we have to think of something really creative, because James is really good at running the mic, so he's uh, definitely like our... Uh, uh, he's our leader, <laughs> as he likes to be, as we always tease him about. He's actually done a lot for this community, uh, tirelessly done a lot for this community. For I'm a creator, we everybody owes that's with him. We all owe him a lot of thanks for what he's done. It's a, it's a real mission, and he takes it seriously, and he really puts his heart into it. So, is there any uh, brave people out there that would like to come on? <laughs> Anybody? 
just uh, send us a message on the chat. Yeah. And, and we'll try and set it up. Because this will be our test. Uh, test run, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we are not quite sure how to do it ourselves yet. So don't be. Uh, don't be too scared. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh no. There are not too many of us here today, so it's just a trial run. Um, uh, yeah, totally. James Cox and Ray Hayden. Cheers. Yeah, bottle caps. That's the same kind of stories here on the island. Yes, that's amazing. Sometimes uh, the stories we encounter during the um, during our our work with clients it, it's it's amazing um i i have just posted a, a question to the poll if you haven't seen it yet about what should we focus on our next live stream uh we would have like to have it a bit more organized uh, uh next time maybe around a particular subject that you're more interested in uh so please go on um to the link uh and vote um would it be photo, video, or social media tips that you would like to hear about more? Um, we would like to help. Uh, and this is uh, what is so amazing about this community is uh, that it's, uh, as I keep saying, it's so much more than just the channel. It's the people behind it and what we can offer to each other uh, as people, as professionals, as um, uh, people with lots of talents and skills. Um, so maybe something that I uh, have, I can offer other people in the community and maybe something that you have, you would like to share with the community as well. I think it's amazing that we can do that. It's amazing that we have this community to turn to um, if we need um, some questions answered or we need support and uh, not just by viewing and uh, uh, supporting the channel but each other as people because that's what we are we're not just channels right um bottle caps you put uh him in the hot seat yesterday uh don't ask me i'm too ugly lol nobody is too ugly first of all and second of all yeah bottle cups yeah i tried to answer your questions yesterday on the live stream um it's uh it, it, yeah <laughs> it's interesting i love the dynamic you know it's 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 always interesting uh, um but if there are questions we try to answer also this the the, the thing uh, when there are a lot of people like uh, when we had it yesterday the same as when uh, james had it yesterday it's hard to follow the chat questions um not because we don't want to uh, but it, it, it just goes so fast. It, it's hard to see uh, it every time. So it's not personal. If uh, some gets missed um, more than once, maybe it just it skips so fast. So just got to keep asking it till you get uh, noticed or the moderator picks you up uh, like I tried yesterday. Um, yeah. So no brave people. <laughs> Guys, we were all very, very anxious yesterday too. And I think we are still anxious today. Uh, <laughs> a little bit less maybe, but uh, it's not as uh, scary as I first thought it would be. <laughs> no, it's just talking. It's uh, We were absolutely terrified when we went on James's. <laughs> oh, as long as I'm hidden behind my beadboard, <laughs> no sound, no lights, <laughs> no red hair and sunburn. <laughs> I'm too boring. I look forward to your guests, although shows, although I learn. Oh, the Corn Life Network. Welcome. Hi. Sparkle, don't talk so crazy. Yeah, Sparkle, I would love to have you in front of that beadboard with the with the sunburn. I hope that sour cream helped as I suggested, by the way. <laughs> How are you tonight? The Corn Life Network. Oh my god. You guys couldn't have come at a better time. Are you guys streaming tonight, or would you like to come on for a few minutes? We're just looking to try doing uh, a guest. Uh, we're trying out our technical capability. So <laughs> yeah. if, if you would like to be on, please. Seven blessings. Hi. Thank hey. you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> uh, and while people are still coming in, and maybe somebody would like to come on, please mm. uh, just say that you would like to be a guest, and we'll send you a link. <laughs> Bottle Caps is asking about our editing secrets. Anything special? Um, take tons and tons of the same shot over and over <laughs> because I'll try 
25 of them. Oh, we're in the middle of a project here. Oh, okay. Okay, Corn Life. No problem at all. I hope it's going well. Thank you so much for stopping in. Um, editing is all about the music. It. I, I sometimes will listen to the same song for a week before I start to edit. A lot of times I'll have the music picked out, but I don't know what footage I'm going to put to it. That I can drive around listening to it in my car. I can listen to it at home. By the time it's done, I know it backwards, inside and out. Because the song is, the tracks are what makes it, in my opinion. It gives it the feeling of it. It makes it, um, it's what helps people connect with it. Like I was saying last night about our opener, there, where um, our new intro. And how you see the guy click, like the mouse go down and click and go to the comment and subscribe. It was so important to get the right atmosphere music behind, uh, this atmosphere uh, ambient uh, noise behind it. And that's why I went with coffee shop, because I pictured somebody at a coffee shop typing away, looking at what we're doing. So that's why I put it there. It's quite low. I didn't want it to overpower the clicks or to take away from the impact of them. I just never, ever, ever, ever put dead uh, dead silence. It, it always gives a, a creepy effect, and somebody, if they have headphones on, they'll wonder if something's wrong, a bad connection. If they're listening to it in front of their computer, they start checking their connections or closing a window, thinking there's something wrong. Anything. You can mash leaves in your hand you can uh, tap sticks against wood and then lower the volume really well can give neat effects uh, i've done stuff like tapping on fingers on tables and stuff like that. anything just never leave it empty it's almost more important sometimes than the footage that you're showing because you can have all the great footage but if you have no sound it, it has no um, feel to it that's just my opinion that's my way of editing I hope that helps a little bit. If I didn't quite answer what you were looking for, please feel free to elaborate, and I'll do my best. Uh, Sparkle by Monica says that Facebook has a sound collections library now. I oh. had no idea, but suspected it was coming to compete with YouTube. Yes, Facebook has a new platform that they launched. Uh, personally, it's only available for iOS, iOS users right yeah. now, and I'm anxiously waiting for Android users as well. It's basically the same thing as YouTube was, and hopefully it's going to stay that way. I don't know if it's going to go anywhere, uh, but I would definitely be excited to try it out uh, for sure. Just uh, yeah. please release the Android version, otherwise it gives unfair advantage to iOS uh, uh, users. But uh, the same as there, same as on YouTube, you can actually download the songs on your computer and use it for your editing projects. Uh, uh, so just use that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's easy. Uh, and the Seven Blessings says, thanks for sending me a DM. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for coming. And they loved uh, an intro. Uh, so. Oh, thank you so much. So, yeah, Seven Blessings, would you like to come on as our first guest? Um, Sparkle by Monica says that she agrees that music is great for video. I get some negative comments on my selections and videos, but it's still fun. You have to do what you feel good about. That's tried and true practice. Not everybody's going to like what you do. Like our intro, I mean, and there's some people who justifiably say, like, it's a bit short, it's a bit too fast. Um, through what we do, I feel it suits the best for what we need. But to the next person, it might completely it might completely not be their taste, and they need to go a completely different route. If you're doing nature all the time, our intro is a little energetic for all that. <laughs> but the problem with us is we do everything kind of, we have different, we have everything from trains to natures to downtown murals with heavy dubstep on them. So I need something that's kind of flexible for all of them. So always be happy with what you did. I'm on my phone and don't have hangouts. Oh, okay. <laughs> but thank you. Yes, definitely. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hi, 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 DJ Krimi. Hi, welcome. 
The bottle Perfect. cap says that the part about your intro I don't like. It is the annoying looking at a computer screen going click, click, click. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, and I understand that completely. I do. It is meant to be a little bit annoying. It's um, it, it's just a, one of those proven methods that gets people to, to do it. I know it seems fast, but the brain is working super fast as it's processing it. And it really does make people go back and watch it over. That's the nice thing about it, which I know some people say, oh, well, that's annoying. I don't want to watch it two or three times, but it actually helps get us more imprinted, embedded, our, our product more embedded in them. So same as when you watch a Pepsi commercial, and those Pepsi, 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 or dodge, dodge, dodge. It, it, it creates that effect. But yeah, I, I definitely appreciate what you're saying for sure. And it's not going to be the main intro for our page. That's just going to be on our videos. The intro one, I'm going to be expanding that one to a minute long. Just with all the uh, 1K jump and uh, doing the live streams and stuff, I even was late replying to all uh, the comments, like yours today. So I thought <laughs> I thought he's going to think, oh, he doesn't like my comments, so I never replied. I, I perfectly accept your comment, and I just didn't get time until this afternoon to finally reply. So it's... Uh, it's all good. And like I said, we just do what we can and try to make something that works as best for us. But does anybody use a desktop or a laptop anymore? Uh, I'm using laptop and desktop combined. Uh, my desktop now has got to be, it's time to get some work done to it and upgrade it. I do use laptop. I'm using the uh, MSI GP60. I got 60, uh, 16 gigs of RAM. An SSD, uh, MS, uh, MS2 hard drive. It's good, but a laptop, uh, a desktop is so much more viable for doing work. It's the render times. It's because of the video card, and that that always slows it down. Uh, Twin Video Productions is uh, saying for you to check their Alaska video. You will find some vintage train line footage there. I think I've seen one of them already, but I'll definitely go back and recheck it and make sure because I remember you telling me about that, and I would definitely love to see it. I, I think I did, but I'm gonna real as soon as we're done, I'm definitely gonna visit again. A Rosarian back uh, uh, fellow uh, fellow Canadian. Hi. Yeah, a guitar player. Uh, I was watching the other night a bunch of his videos. I. Uh, commented on a bunch of them, then I fell asleep through part of them, so at least you still got the watch time, and I went back and watched some more since. He's got this amazing... I I, I love your style. It's it's quirky and fun. I kind of never know what's coming next, and I think that's what I love about it the most. It, it's really interesting. You should definitely... Like, please, check each other out. Everybody here has got great content. There's no shortage of it. And... Uh, Resorian Buck is just another one of those examples. I'm hoping it gets warm enough soon, too, so you'll be able to start uh, setting up your studio. Uh, yeah, uh, and uh, getting back to the Facebook and YouTube conversation, Seven Blessings says that, yeah, that now YouTube is not even playing automatically on Facebook. Yes, of course, they're trying to push it out since it's a competing platform now, but as I always say, is don't uh, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Uh, either it is YouTube or Facebook or any other social media. You see what happened with YouTube, uh, and how <laughs> everybody got shocked and, yeah. uh, when they lost their revenue and 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 had to um, build their channel back, so to say. And the same with Facebook when they're. Uh, dropped uh, their algorithm and people just only one percent of your facebook business page is really seen by anybody uh so don't put all your eggs in one basket that's why i keep saying do you have a twitter account do you have instagram account do you have all these at the same time because as much as it is a big hassle and grinding and believe me i don't like spending time on social media so much <laughs> as i do but it's necessary because if one thing goes, you at least have other ones, and you don't have all your viewers and all your followers in one place. And what if you lose that? Then what happens? Everything is gone, right? We we just all of us experienced it not so long ago with YouTube. Uh, that way, you at least have them in other social medias as well, and you can get reconnected again. So if anybody of you still missing a Twitter account, Instagram account, uh, please do that. Uh, we need connected in other ways as well. 
Yeah, Resorian says, yeah, Facebook is under fire right now. They're all really right under fire right now. It's it's, it's turned into a real uh, blood sport at this time with the social medias, and they're each trying to copy each other. Like Facebook, I hated putting my videos on because their compression is horrible. It makes them look bad. The only issue with them is if you put a YouTube link, nobody sees it because, of course, they're in direct competition with YouTube. So in priority, they fall to the bottom of the list. So if I put up a video, say, like the windmill train from Gaspé, where I grew up, well, I had to tag like 40 of family and friends from the area into the post about the train just to have the chance of people getting to see it because it puts it right at the bottom like a cover photo gets where one out of every 20 of your friends actually even maybe will see it. So now that they're adding the video feature to compete with YouTube, we'll see what happens. Like Xenia said, it's only available for iOS right now. But I'm hoping at least they'll build up the quality of their videos enough that you can upload decent video and, and be seen there properly because it is good to be on every platform. Uh, Facebook was very good for us, especially at the beginning for uh, photography. Yes. It opened a lot of doors. It's and it's still pretty active. I mean, if if you keep uh, building your uh, your page, it's, it's still there. It's just uh, you're gonna pay more attention of how you're doing it. Like videos, uh, it's it's really no point of sharing your YouTube video on Facebook uh, because they're most likely just gonna bury it. Mm. Uh, so if you want your video be seen, uploaded directly. Yes, it compresses it. Um, maybe a little snippet with a link to the video on YouTube. But not directly sharing. Uh, do directly things on Facebook if you want to be seen. C Seven Blessings is saying they tag people for for the, the for, so they can be uh, see their videos. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Same thing, a hundred percent. Yeah, and another good way of doing it too is going on other people's pages, like community pages, if it's related, and uh, just posting the link to your uh, video there, like. Uh, uh, if, for example, if I have pictures from a city, like it would be Montreal or our bureau, uh, then I go to their uh, Facebook page and in their community uh, forum, I post uh, the link about it uh, there. So if, there, if you can find any other pages related to you that has community forums in there, it's a good way to get some people back as well. Um, Twin video productions, I got blocked after sending some links to my friends on Facebook. I do not like it. Yes, yeah. Facebook has a limitation. <laughs> it starts to think you're a bot or a spammer if you do it too much. But then after a while, it unblocks you. So uh, it shouldn't be forever. Yeah. But uh, Twitter looks more efficient. Yes and no. Um, yeah, uh, yes mm -hmm. and no. I, I have uh, kind of dual feelings about Twitter because I, I if you have a community like we have now, I'm creator that is constantly um, retweeting and liking your content, uh, then it's good because you have that constant uh, interaction. But really, it's hard to get new people attracted to retweet your uh your stories or um, you know your your tweets and if it only contains in that one follower group it doesn't get really noticed outside either like i really enjoy instagram now and uh, i know it's uh, owned by facebook but they have started a completely new approach there and it's good for videos as well they have added amazing features there are like instagram stories and you, you can use gifts there um you can even uh, set up your shop there and do direct selling of your products uh, i'm really enjoying instagram right now and also they got just got back to their old algorithm of showing the timeline is a uh, as um uh, for the newest hierarchy like facebook used to be you know like you actually see what has been posted not what has been promoted to you um so if you don't have instagram check it out i i really like it um dj creamy still has my facebook but hardly use it only for a couple of friends and family and yes and we have both <laughs> because we have business bottle caps i can start a twitter channel just like my youtube channel Twitter, you just need an account, and basically, it's a way of getting a uh, word out about your videos. Uh, if you see the share button under your YouTube video uh, and you press it, uh, one of the options is Twitter sharing. So you could actually share it with a hashtag, for example. I'm a creator to your Twitter account, and that way, more people would see it, especially those who would search for I'm a creator videos. Twitter's up now. I just put it up. 
uh, yeah, so now you can see bottle caps, actually. You can see an um, example of how a Twitter looks like. Um, can you folks make a video of Formula One when it comes to Montreal this summer? Oh, God. <laughs> I would love to. If they'd ever let me in, it would be my pleasure. <laughs> If we crowdfund the ticket price, good. <laughs> <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> They're very, the security is really tight there. That one's a hard one. You're not even allowed to bring most times like any type of cameras and stuff like that. I would love to. I'm not being negative net on this one. If they ever find a way, sign me up. <laughs> uh, yeah, they also do a lot of summer events, including F1 summer event downtown in the street. So uh, yes, that I'm hoping to get. Uh, we are hoping to get that one, and you can actually see the formulas and sometimes the drivers there too. So mm -hmm. stay tuned. Uh, yeah, we might do that. Uh, seven blessings. We have Instagram, and it's dead. Well, uh, again, the same as with other um, social media. Um, there are tips and tricks <laughs> that you have to use in order to uh, to do Instagram. And no, I'm not a pro on Instagram. <laughs> I don't uh, have thousands of followers, but I'm trying to use uh, as much as you can your Instagram stories, um, tag hashtags, research hashtags. Um, tags on YouTube is not as important. They are important for organizing your um, your video. But on Instagram, it's very important how you hashtag it. Um, so research that. Uh, that's really important. And if you have any questions, if I I can try and answer them, uh, just message me on Instagram at Pusa Studios, and uh, we could try and figure something out. I'm just going through our Facebook then because you were mentioning that a minute ago. So I'm just wondering. Yeah. Uh, so now you can see our Facebook. As you can see, it's more set up as a business page, which it is because mainly we are uh, working with our clients for video and for promotions and for photo, for personal and for business needs. Uh, so that's what you can see. And now the the reach is not. Um, um, you know, big, <laughs> no. but it's there. It's steady there. Like what I can see and it's, which is good. It's a steady reaction of uh, likes and comments uh, to our posts. And I know some people have lost completely any of their reach at all. So, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, if any of, of you are interested in Easter freebies, mm -hmm. <laughs> as you're sliding down, you can see, uh, I have a link on Facebook oh, and on Twitter. Uh, of free Easter cards that you can uh, just uh, <coughs> click on a link and download three beautiful uh, Easter cards that you can use and share. So just go over on our Twitter um, or our Facebook page and see on the pinned very first um, post, uh, you can download your free Easter card. Um, seven blessings. Yes, our business one has been there for three years and barely have 300. Yeah, I know. It's it's hard. It's grinding. I know. <laughs> mm. I know. DJ Krimi, howdy again. Oh, welcome back. So nobody is brave enough to get as our first guest, I guess. Mm. Uh, well, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's we okay. understand the jitters into it and... Uh, uh, like I say, we still are just finding our legs in all of this, so we completely understand. Uh, this is still, like I say, a bit of a learning process for us. That's why we appreciate so much your patience tonight once again. It's just a chance for us to kind of get more familiar with the controls. Uh, but if anybody wants to come on, you're more than welcome to. It will be very informal, and believe me, you have lots to say. You've been doing this. Oh, five minute kitchen, you got your thousand. Congratulations. Oh, excellent. Good job. Very, very nice. See, the live streams help. The, the going on the chat and, and let's, participating let's in the community. Five. That's amazing. That's so great. Five M I N U T, right? Yeah. Full spelling? Uh, five dash minute kitchen. DJ Creamy, you're not yeah. feeling well. Mm -hmm. We're not. Well, you oh. we hope you feel better soon. Yeah. yeah, that sucks. Bottle caps. Oh, uh, that people before. live stream Formula One. Can I make a note? Sorry, I got to really mention this. This just happened here, and I know because we've liked videos and watched them before. You see, when you go to channels that you know are part of the I Am Creator group, it, look down the list and see who commented, and look at the names and see if there's some of them that you haven't heard from in a while. 
go and check them because most likely we're all falling into this algorithm problem we were talking about last night where sometimes it does unsubscribe you or will unring the bell or sometimes I'll even go in and it is clicked and they have put up videos I haven't heard all under the button, under the bell, and then go through the whole process all over again because that's how we can sometimes fall out of connection with each other which is the biggest part of I'm a creator is staying connected. So, um, I mean, I, I'm happy now we're 1,003 for you, 5-Minute Kitchen. I apologize because I know way back when it was less than that. So your growth has been exponential. And so, yeah, really check that out. I even invite some people sometimes, like, when I notice this, I'll, I'll message them. I'll watch another video and ask them if they can come back and check on our channel as well and make sure the same thing hasn't happened either. It's uh, just unfortunately one of the problems, especially because a lot of us are adding and a lot of people right now, the algorithm sometimes decides to kind of punish us for it, even though it should be promoting us growing. And it will take off. I One night we had, what, 16 in one night? Yeah. Within the span of an hour or two. And, I mean, people can come and go. We get that. But when it's that big of a number, you usually know it's the algorithm that's playing with you. So... Congratulations once again. She's got a great page here. Definitely come and check it out. Lots of good stuff to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I always get hungry on these channels. Uh, Twin Video Productions to ask about, while you're looking through the videos and we're showing off the five minute kitchen channel. Yeah. Uh, about experience with GoPro cam files. Do they need to be converted first or what editing software is best to process these huge files? Um, cam is like the raw. I'm not so good because I shoot with the DJI Osmo. I'm not so familiar with GoPro files, but I believe that's their version of raw, if I'm not mistaken. And. Uh, Pretty much now, if you have the latest version, I, I, when you're in stuff like Windows Movie Maker and stuff like that, that's made mostly for quick edits. To edit that kind of stuff, you're going to either have to go into Premiere, Vegas, those programs, or convert it into something very... I would say then go to a .move file, MOV, which is the original Mac Apple file, whichever you want to call it because that's the most rounded and you'll lose the least amount of data. But you will lose a good bit because it is raw. If you can try to get into something like Adobe Premiere or Vegas or Final Cut Pro, I believe would probably cover it as well. I don't know if you're working on Mac or PC. Because um, those files contain a lot of data. They are huge. You're right. And... It's the same as like taking a photo that's shot raw and saving it right away as a JPEG. You're going to lose so much of your quality in the photo. You might as well have almost shot it in JPEG to begin with. Uh, that would be my advice to you. Uh, hi, Terrell Emerson TV. I uh, just joined oh. us. And uh, bye oh. to um, Monica. She had to run to pick oh. up her husband, but she would Good. be willing to try uh, maybe in the next stream. Uh, because Good. our guest, I would be very excited. We would be very excited to Excellent. see you. Uh, Rizarian Buck is saying that he got unfollowed from James Cox the other day. Uh, yeah. As we are saying, it's not that people go and unfollow. Uh, it's just uh, YouTube. It's YouTube. It's not people unfollowing. It's YouTube. Yeah, you can't take it personally if somebody notices it too. Like that, they they come to you and they say, "Listen, sorry," and I just react. It it's just one of the dirty parts of being on YouTube, especially right now with such an influx of everybody joining each other. Sometimes it thinks it's something fishy. It thinks it's a bot. So it takes back some of them just to kind of punish you. Yeah. And uh, as, as we were watching the YouTube creators channel, uh, they were talking about that as well. And uh, from the source, basically uh, yes. they automatically follow and unfollow uh, people. If you don't go there often enough, if you don't go there on your own, uh, watching and commenting and liking, uh, they s suspiciously think that you're not active enough engaging with the channel. <coughs> so they automatically, without asking any questions, unsubscribe. So uh, they just want to keep the interaction active, um, and that's what they do that, unfortunately. We could talk a little bit about plugins. Uh, yes, we can do If that. you guys have liked that, we could talk a little bit about the plugins we use for uh, tags and stuff. Uh, I'll put it on our new intro one. Mm -hmm. 
There you go. Okay. So uh, these are the plugins we use uh, for when we're uploading a new video and also for uh, monitoring our channel. Uh, Social Blade is number one for that stuff, especially afterwards. Uh, tells you how your videos are doing. And this is open to the public. If you have a video, if you have a channel, anybody can see it on Social Blade. It's open to everyone. By downloading the extension, we're using Chrome because it's uh, almost all these extensions work seamlessly with Chrome. And it gives you grades. It tells you an average of what you would earn month for the channel. Uh, you can see here uh, subs for the last 30 days, views the last 30 days. So it's a good choice. What I use it for, too, is sometimes if I have a channel joining me and they look a little iffy and I don't know what to make of them, you can view more on Social Blade. So if you click it, it takes you to their website. Sorry, it's going to load a bit slower just because we're streaming right now. And then you can come to here where you can see more. Let's see. I'm going to open that right up for a second. And here you can get more information about the site. And the big thing is, is to see which country it came from. I'm always kind of curious where it's coming from. Um, any country, it doesn't bother me. I'm more than happy to anybody in the world to watch our stuff. I just like a better understanding of who's coming. It tells you what channel type we fall under. And then we can look under users. Like here shows you subscriber counts and how they've been going up. See, I lost one that day, gained five, uh, gained, uh, sorry, gained six, gained three. I got a lot of glare because of the lamp in front of us. I apologize. More analytics. Everything about YouTube is analytics. You always want to know where you stand. Who's watching you? Uh, what's your demographic? What's uh, days? What? This is a great way to find out if you put up a video and it bombed. <laughs> where you're hurting or when it's done really well. Uh, estimated money. Of course, we're not monetized right now, so that's not so important. Future projections. It's kind of interesting. I mean, that's more for bigger channels. They, they, yeah. See, right now, viewer projections. Huh. If we go right now, the way we're going in 2000, uh, 2023, We'll have 255,000. There you go. Uh, compares us with similar channels, detailed statistics. This is the other night when we hit 1,000 on uh, James Cox's channel. This is where he went. As I said, this opened to everybody. So you can see right now our account. And yet this is real time as it's coming in. This bar is going across. You can see the different times there. So you see where it jumped up. And now it's adjusted since the last time that it adjusted itself. So if anybody unsubscribes or subscribes, this will change automatically. And I'll show you like a bigger, uh, oh my God, I'll never spell his name probably. Uh, one, let's do one as tech tips. Play with a bigger channel, a little bit bigger than us. So as you can see, so you see, there's where these channels are getting like a score of a minus. There's subs this subscriber rank means out of everybody on the internet, they're 523rd, which is pretty big. So you see, these guys here are adding a lot. Like subscribers, this is this is daily ads. They're literally adding about 5,000 people a day, on average. And you can see their growth. So, yeah, there's a little more excitement going on their page. But ours shows a lot more excitement than what we had a month ago. Definitely. <laughs> so, you know, that's what you want to see, the numbers going up. So that's that's Social Blade. They have their own ranking system as well. A lot of people take them pretty seriously. So, as you can see, it's over here now that the video's up. So we have our social blade information we talked about. And then uh, video lytics is also the, uh, that's, uh, video lytics is, uh, oh my God. Uh, uh, VidIQ? No, no, the other one. Um, TubeBuddy? TubeBuddy, thank you so much. I, they just had the initials there and I had a brain fart. Sorry about that. 
and this will give you information. This is really good here. Videolytics uh, tells you how many views, how many comments, ups and downs. Three out of 20 suggested videos are from this creator. That one's not so good, but that's because this was a very short video. That means in the sidebar where it makes all the suggestions, there are always 20 of them, and three out of the 20 are uh, three out of the 20 of ours are in there. It's nice to have more. It's good to have at least usually five or more. And this will change from red to orange, and then eventually green as you're doing better. And the videos tags appear six times in the title and description. So when you're making your tags, <clears throat> that's what I was talking about. Is it being a good uh, checklist? You always want to have your title and your description have as many of the tag words that you use. So if your video is about boats, you want boats, you want ocean, ocean liners, speed boats, whatever. So then in your title and your tags, you want to have the words keep appearing in this sentence about, if it's about speed boats, and that's in your tag, right? Speed boats. Uh, speed boats on a sunny day in Ontario. Well, you want sunny day Ontario and speed boats to be in your tags, plus in your title and your description. Uh, the, the channel ranking or social where it's being mentioned, it will tell you. Once again, this is a video that wasn't set up to do very well because it was just a short, short video and we never tagged it or anything. And here's where you would realize if you forgot anything, like high-res thumbnail, check. Info cards, that's at the end and at the top, check. Uh, end screen, we didn't add this time, which we usually do, where it says, you know, or watch more um, or watch one of our playlists. Shared on Twitter, yes. It's usually liked on Facebook, not this time. Captions added, we don't usually have because we don't have any voice in ours. Comment pinned, you know, to go over here, take one of these. And we'll take James, for instance, and we're just going to pin it. And we're going to pin. And then we're good on that one. So now the comment's pinned. So when we refresh, that will turn into a check mark. Comment hearted means that we've hearted at least one of the comments that are here. Uh, caps and Oh, captions we did already. And you can see tags. I don't have very many. All I have is video and Pusha Studios. And then to show the search engine ranking. And then vidIQ, which I'm not signed into at the moment. Xenia is more into vidIQ right now. I've kind of never, I, I, it's great. I just, uh, we can only learn so much at a time. So usually what I do is I upload, write all the basic text that you see in the description, in the title, put it in the main keywords, but then she'll go back and refine the keywords. I'm going to let her talk about those in a moment. And, uh, for that one, do you want me to put it in? Uh, I wonder if I put it in the. Do we want to show that or not? No, it's okay. Uh, the quick question about Terrell Emerson TV. I love the black background of your YouTube website. Show how you are doing it. Oh. You can do it too. Yeah. <laughs> Just go here to. Uh, well, hang on. Sorry. I'll start over. Go up to where, where your icon is. For us, it's Push the Studios in the top corner. Go down and dark theme on. Click on it. If I shut it off, Goes back to white. If I turn it on, we're back in black. <laughs> that one's a really easy one. And I like it too. It's a lot easier on the eyes. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, especially if you spend a lot of time uh, on by the screen, for sure. Maybe this is a good one. I'm not opening creator part, but just open it here. Like, uh, yeah. Let's see from the side. Can you guys hear that when the train, when I started the video, by the way? I'm just curious how the sound comes through for you guys. Um, yeah, but uh, so uh, just an example of the video, what I usually do uh, is I go to the uh, video and uh, uh, I see uh, what Andrew has done with the title and what uh, he has done with the uh, description here. As you can see, where there has to be a little bit of a description of the uh, title, and uh, it's important to make sure that your title uh, right here and bottle caps, although you're snoring, this mm. might be something interesting <laughs> for you as it uh, actually addresses a question that you asked yesterday. Uh, this uh, title here um, should be found somewhere in your description. Uh, as well as in your tags. The more of that you have repeatedly, 
there in the meta tags, in your meta description of the video, uh, in the title, the better it is. And no, maybe you're not going to be found exactly by those tags, but it is important to have it in order. The more it is in order by their algorithm standards, the better chances of it of it is to come up as a suggested video, even if it's not searched by the certain uh, tag. So as you can see, there's a little uh, description there. And uh, then afterwards, we always follow up um, uh, with any uh, credit, if there is any. And of course, all of our Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, uh, and YouTube channel. So now we're using, using uh, uh, TubeBuddy and vidIQ, we can also see um, if we have um, fulfilled all these best practices here, which is also, again, is important to get back your video on track. Uh, if you have the thumbnail, yeah. it's very important. It's important to have a thumbnail that uh, jumps out uh, so people can actually notice it in the stream of 20 videos on their sidebar. So bottle caps, <laughs> again, as much as interesting <coughs> your videos are, it's very good to have attraction of attention with your thumbnail. Can I make a side note on that? Yeah. Thumbnails add, when I do my thumbnails, I'll, if it is a screenshot, which usually I don't do, or it's a, it's always gotta be high res, so make sure you're 300 DPI when you start. Make it five times the size of what it's gonna end up being. Use lots of contrast, lots and lots of contrast. You want really heavy blacks, you want it to stand up because remember people are going to be seeing it. It's not that big and the maximum size you can save something is two uh, Two megs so get it as close like in example in Photoshop when you save as JPEG You can bring back your slider in the quality from 12 to 0 Slowly bring it back. It will show you click preview. It will show you the size get it as close if it's 1.95 perfect because you want it as close to that as possible so it comes out that much more richer when people look at it. Continue on. Sorry about that. I just... uh, yeah, so you also want to make sure that you have added advanced uh, tactics or tools to your video, which is information cards added, uh, which you can find uh, in your video editing advanced tab. And end screen added, you can use the uh, already created end screen um templates by youtube and just use just that and if you're stuck onto it and you're wondering info cards added how do i add it literally copy that line paste it in google and just write how to in front of it and there's tons of videos on anything you want to pretty much do when you're doing your videos somebody's done a video usually people have done a thousand videos on how to do it so don't make your life complicated don't sweat it out don't spend hours getting frustrated just paste it in and go look it up You'll, you'll get answers within minutes and step by step. Um, also, uh, uh, yes, it rates if you share, if it's shared on Twitter, on Facebook. Again, uh, we do that uh, on Facebook more for YouTube analytics, not for Facebook. <laughs> yeah. uh, shared on Twitter, the more the better. And with our community, I'm creator is very easy because everybody uh, reshares each other's videos so that's amazing captions added if you have anything there uh that you can caption do uh um this was down. one of the few just because the um, the conductor talked it's literally two lines of text yeah. but it is good because it makes your video stand out more if there is a uh, closed caption yeah also uh pin one of the comments uh, either make it your own uh as we have it right here uh if there is announcement that you want to uh, people to pay attention to, or just a comment of other people users, other users that you want to um, uh, highlight. Um, comment hearted. Well, we all know about that. <laughs> uh, so if you do have these all best practices fulfilled, uh, it's already boosts up your video on the rankings. So there's much more chances that people are going to be actually watching it, and you're going to get your prized watch time. I was thinking too, Honda was more if it's for the tags and the correlation between them. Uh, yeah, and, and then after that, when I make sure that everything there is fulfilled, I will look at the tags. And the tags is great for um, uh, your uh, analytics as well. Uh, so you write in a tag, uh, and then you can actually research it. How well is it doing? Uh, what you want to do is have your tag uh, in this range of good. You can see it here. 
good 6600, for example. That means that it's a good um, a correlation between the search volume and the competition out there. So you don't want to get in the 10 percentage because the competition might be too big and you're never going to uh, show up. Uh, or maybe nobody's searching for it at all. So uh, it's also no point of it. But you want to have this in this good range. Uh, so if you click on your choice of the tag and you can see that it's in a good range, leave it there and save it and it will help. Um, help your videos so, so you don't click on them accidentally because uh, yeah. i've done that before sorry <laughs> no. uh, so that's what i do i put in uh, the tags that i think is gonna help and then i go to each of them and i actually click on them and see if it works uh what are the suggested see like this one should be changed for example uh, i go back and i uh and i check uh, time to time to, to see what i should get uh rid of or not which is tricky though sometimes because we have to be careful because then sometimes we'll have to change the text in the title or the description because like once again we want as many of the many of the tag words in the description and title as possible like you can see on this one it's time we gotta revamp it a bit because it's it's only appears two times um yeah and it's an older video so uh obviously we gotta go back and and, and recheck it uh where we can see analytics here uh, sorry. You want to see analytics? Yeah. On our for our own channel. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. For your studio. Analytics. Um. So obviously, we again are all familiar with this. Uh tab here and you want to pay uh, uh, close attention to what is going on here and adjust your videos uh, according to it um, usually and I use my phone more for this uh, you can see the traffic sources and you can see if your playlists are doing well uh, you need to have your videos on playlists uh, not only because it's easier to, for the watch time, uh, but also because it gets rated higher if your videos are on your playlists and on other people's playlists. And that's where the I'm a Creator playlist does help a lot too. It's good to be on as many of your own playlists plus as many external ones as possible. If you're into making woodworking projects and you have 15 channels you're close with, agree to make playlists on each one's channel with everybody else's into them and co-op that way. It all counts as shares and ranks you higher. So now here we are back to the tags and that's how I see how to change the tags over time. Uh, you can see uh, where our tags has been searched and actually found. So if or our videos. So I see that obviously our channel name has been searched the most, but then I started to notice that there are other uh, uh, words that uh, we appear on as a search. So once I see it starts going up, I go and I copy this tag and I co paste it in the video that is related to it. For example, this French word here that you can pronounce probably better. <laughs> Rappression de rail en Gaspésie. We didn't have it as a tag before, but once I noticed that it started appeared as a search result, I copied and pasted it in the video uh, that it was related to our Gaspé video train. So uh, that's how it's good to keep a track on it all the time and compare your tags and change them all the time. Um, also, um, uh, you can see here that it is very important to have everything in place because even such small things as end screens still generate views, right? Uh, uh, your um, pop-up, uh, tags that are also appearing on your videos also generate views so it's important to have everything in place it's like a closet full of fancy clothes you need to have them nicely folded for people <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to find them uh so yeah going back to the chat uh Rosarian Bach is asking have you seen the nerd city videos on the secret of youtube tag yes YouTube's are starting to figure out how YouTube is rating people's videos. It's very interesting. Yes. Yeah, yes, exactly. Great channel, by the way. One of the best channels on YouTube right now. 
um, seven blessings, thank you for all this information. Uh, seven blessings, we have to upgrade our VidIQ to see our analytics. Uh, we don't have upgraded versions, by the way. Uh, that's why we use in parallel um, a TubeBuddy. We use VidIQ and the mention of uh, Morning Fame that I mentioned yesterday. We use all three of them and sometimes a few other tools as well, the free versions of them. If you combine it all at the same time, it should be enough for your basic analytics. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of sleuthing. And like I say, uh, we were talking about that before, before the I am creator thing, we were pretty much not even really bothering with YouTube anymore. I'd even put away the camera and said, you know what? We'll use it for business stuff. I'm kind of done with YouTube. So now we got to kind of rethink everything. So we want to keep our feet. And even if we do get one of them or uh, pay for them, we're still going to be using the other ones as well. It's always good to have as many eyes on you as possible. And and proof is in the pudding. Yes, it's on a creative community that helped us get our thousand. But also, it, uh, I think that uh, the analyzing and, and, and trying to figure it out as well, because literally we had 42 subscribers at the beginning of February, and now we're over 1,000. So no, we're not, not a huge creator yet. But I think we have grown quite exponentially. What I wanted to mention about the uh, tags, just one more thing. I like to find all these beautiful tools out there uh, on internet that we uh, can use uh, for our advantage. So one of the tools that I use for research in tags uh, actually is called K Parser. It's uh, letter K, P-A-R-S-E-R. -E I will post it in the description after. And uh, this website has uh, multiple ways of researching your tags and tag combinations uh, before creating a video, after creating a video for your channel, uh, for trends, for everything you could possibly have. So that's one way of doing it. Uh, so I do it there. And then I go over uh, to um, Google Keyword Suggest Tool, uh, which is called tools.coachat.com tools.cochat.com and I put in the same uh, keyword phrase uh, that I just used on the uh, key uh, key parser and I put it there and go through the filters there and that's how I get oh I know the... the right one I thought of. no what is it again tools.cochat.com tools.co yeah dot chat Com. No. Oh. C. Uh, oh, sorry. S E O. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. No. But English is not my first language. Uh, S E O. Yeah. Dot chat. chat. No, just chat. Chat. Okay. There we go. Dot com. Sorry, guys. I'm typing with one finger at the moment. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this is one, and the other one, if you can uh, open it on the is uh k parser oh yeah i have that up already but i'll put it uh, k just have uh, it side by side one second a person yeah so these two uh tools plus vidiq plus tubebuddy plus uh youtube search uh, uh um, bar um is the great way of getting your tags uh it's a lot of work but once you do it and you save it on the two buddies um uh, keyword list you don't have to do it over and over and you can apply the same or almost the same uh tags for the videos that has similar content um so that's how we do it if you any big youtuber they're always their life is revolved around their analytics everything is about analytics it's it sounds cold because it should be all about creation but this is where they spend the bulk of their time because this is what the uh, earns them their living <laughs> uh seven blessing says that they have uh, gained a few fan viewers by interacting on bigger youtube channels with our spamming <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know uh, <laughs> but that was the tricky part before because I like to do it, but you had to be so careful because it all it took was one channel to get offended, and all of a sudden, bam, they would have, they would report you. 
But now that we're back and uh, since the I'm a creator movement and it opened everybody up, we got to do with each other and the drive for a thousand subscribers. A lot of people now are in need. So yeah, for sure. And again, we don't have answers for all the questions uh, about it, but uh, I think we gained a little bit of knowledge and it's good if we can share, you can share with us and we can share with you. Right. Uh, oh, it's uh, goodbye. J uh, DJ, uh, me thank you so much for stopping by uh yeah and uh we welcome Senya aldi uh who is here from bali oh right, uh, right what time is it in bali right now oh my god <laughs> i wonder you have amazing videos by the way uh i love traveling through videos through through other people's experiences to the places uh, that i'm not sure i would uh ever be able to get to although i would love to and matt cook oregon just joined us another great channel so many great channels There's so much watching and so i sometimes wish we didn't have to get anybody for ourselves so we could just watch and just spend all of our time just enjoying everybody else's work solely it's unbelievable the quality of people out there um yeah and uh since everybody uh, we're a little bit scared this time um maybe uh, people who are here now can think a little bit more about being our first guest on the next live show we would love to and we would really love to just feature your channel and talk about your experience as a creator uh, about what you do what are your hobbies where you come from um just to highlight your work um and uh try out how it is to have a guest on and so if anybody would like to on our next live stream uh, just uh, uh message us on our social channels or here and matt asks uh, which one of you does all the work <laughs> well it depends which part of the work it is i, I guess we kind of do work as a team uh primarily i do all the video Xenia, she does all video, but she's definitely the the social media queen. Thank God, because I'm that's not my forte. I do appreciate it. Um, Who does what? Yeah. <laughs> so all the guys, if you go on Instagram, our Instagram, our Twitter, our Facebook, ninety nine point nine percent of all the work you'll see up there is Xenia's. Uh, I do a bit of photography, but not very much. Um, like I say, I primarily do all the video. Yeah, I think we have it uh, uh, kind of like uh, not to step on each other's toes. So we have each our own yeah. thing that we're doing and then helping each other out with what we need as well. And we're supporting each other's work. You know, uh, as Andrew said, Andrew is more on the video and I'm more on the photo, but we still do a little bit of <laughs> Yeah, we cross, uh, cross I mean... a little bit and we support each other. It's like a Andrew mainly had his YouTube channel but uh, I love supporting it. And uh, I mainly have Instagram, but Andrew supports that as well, so. Oh, now there's a good question about proxying. And it's something I know about. I've never done it because our videos aren't so long. I never, and I should, because it would make things a lot easier, but especially in connecting your encoder that one would be out of my league because streaming is something we the, till last night we'd never even streamed before we actually had talked about it before and had no interest of being in front of the camera neither one of us felt comfortable in front of it still don't still don't <laughs> never thought we had anything to say that people would want to hear i there's a great example where i look at your stuff and think god i wish i could do that matt cook lots of you guys here i wish i could do that um now we're getting a tiny more comfortable, but it's far from feeling uh, feeling safe in the chair, we'll say. <laughs> we definitely uh, feel way more comfortable behind the camera. I wish I could answer that one for you, but um, that would be right out of my expertise, unfortunately. Oh, uh, Thank you, Turner Lamerson TV, yes. for coming in. Uh, love it. Uh, thank you so much, uh, and hope to see you next time. Uh, and uh yeah mm. bottle cap saying that you can make living of if your name is casey yeah <laughs> yes but you know everybody started somewhere yeah. nobody started with million followers right away you know the first yeah. second except maybe for the singers or hollywood actors 
so everybody started somewhere and you were saying that your channel is mostly for uh local people uh, we don't live there we watch your videos <laughs> right? Yep, that's right uh so it, it, it you were worried about your watch time what we were talking about it relates closely to it because it it makes people watch it more not just come sub and go you away. have nice footage like that's exactly that, that all the right stuff is there now it's just getting it out to more people playlists are a huge huge one um get on as many playlists as you can get freddie's food reviews on your show i love to have any because mm -hmm. the other day rosarian buck is saying you mentioned downscaling oh okay now that great i'm glad you brought that up because now that i'm we're i'm speaking because uh typing it was hard so here's what i do it's um all my videos i have a template in premiere my camera shoots sorry there will be easier to see my camera shoots at 4k so what i do is i bring in all the move files when i'm done so when i go into premiere i actually edit at 10 1920 by 1080. so my 4ks though i don't downsize them right away so they give me a lot of room to edit adjust my shot you know to be able to get that nice uh, center of the road if you will and they'll usually when you bring them in you can bring them as small as uh, 52 percent which is great because if there's any little bit of noise or something like that it also gets rid of that I edit all my video that way. Then I export it as an MXF. And an MXF, MXF, excuse me, is a lossless format. It's a huge file, but lossless. <clears throat> and that will have all the effects, all the music, everything. Then I have another sequence in my Premiere. And that's where I use the plugin Instant 4K. And that does the upscaling. And next, and the, and after that, I export it as an MPEG four, which will go onto YouTube, and that is show, uh, that's exported as four K. So that's what I meant by that. I know where the side where you were coming from from downscaling like that using proxies. Proxies aren't that hard to use. Um, just I, I always it's one of those things I say I'm going to do because it will make life easier, and then I never think of it till I'm a quarter way in my project and think, well, it's just not worth it. So. I uh, just end up going, oh, our son is here with a coffee run. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, it, it will make your editing a lot easier. As far as using your encoder, though, that is something I have absolutely no idea about. I'd love to hear about it, though. I hope you do a video about it if you can get it figured out. I'd love to learn more about it. Can you uh, sum it up in one sentence? for those of us who are not uh videographers okay for both the but the process i just spoke yeah. about i shoot in 4k i edit in 1080 or high def and that gives me a lot of play because my movies are all my original shots are way bigger than what the screen is so that way i can turn them tilt them bring them in and you're not seeing black missing parts out of it it's the same as taking a picture. It's always better to take a picture uh, with your uh, phone or, or, or uh, camera bigger than you intend it to be if you want to edit it after, because then you can always crop it in. Yes. Uh, you can always zoom it in, right? So it's the same idea with 4K and downsizing, the same way as you would do with the pictures of having wider borders on it. Uh, so aren't they not true 4K then? <laughs> you need to shave, but your wife has a beautiful face for the screen. Bottle caps, be nice, <laughs> be good. <laughs> bottle, ca bottle caps will be bottle caps. You, you remind me of Relic from the Beachcombers. I love your attitude, so keep it up. I enjoy it. Uh, so Matt Puck, uh is still asking, aren't they still not true 4Ks then if you are downsizing? They are. Uh, it, uh, there will be an argument and you'll have somebody on one of the tech channels that will put everything side by side but i mean we've had them viewed and nobody's ever complained to this uh, day no but but even even like the bigger uh channels like peter, peter mckinnon and even the film producers uh, they do a lot of this they they do downsizing and that plugin is the same as photoshop when you like you always want to avoid upscaling i get i get that <clears throat> but the trick to do it, for instance, in Photoshop, and this does the same thing, it always raises it by 10% at a time with preserved detail. That's how you can blow it up and keep the original content. 
that's the trick to it. And another little thing with uh, Linus Tech Tips had realized when they started doing 4K, of course, now they're shooting with Blackmagic cameras, which is eight. The main reason why to put it in 4K, the picture quality is not that big of a difference between that and HD regarding YouTube. The difference is it allows a higher bit rate, which means the data travels better, which means a clearer image with less static. So that's the main reason why I'm doing it. But yes, in technicality, it is cropped up. It is uh, stepped up, but they've tested it once before with people who thought they could tell the difference, and no, it, it's still there. Yeah. Uh, Camaro time, welcome. You almost missed it. Yes, this. welcome. So glad <laughs> to have you. Thank you. you. Oh, and, uh, get to the farm CZ as well. My God, this is a nice surprise to have all you guys here. Uh, so get to the farm shout out, uh, <laughs> spamming. Well, we are gonna <laughs> shout out on your channel. Um, uh, they uh, so get to the farm is doing homesteading, gardening, cooking, and other stuff. Uh, so please go over, check it out, subscribe if you still haven't. Um, uh, Matt Cook, uh, yes, we're still ge geeking out on <laughs> video editing, and yeah. uh, I think 60 for also allows a higher bitrate. Yeah, I was reading that. 60 is, it's good, depends what you're shooting. If there's a lot of high action, sports, car racing, um, I'm thinking like in nature wise, if you had like somebody in a kayak, like doing like a, you know, a lot of white water in front of you and stuff, 60 will definitely bring it out more. I... I don't shoot it for the simple reasons I like to keep mine very cinematic, but it depends what type of video you're going for. 60 is very great. I see some videos I fall in love with all the time. We all have our own styles. I am always, for myself, that's why I'm always using the black bars. I really like shooting that way for me. But yeah, for sports stuff, uh, fast moving 60 frames, of course, like video game uh, walkthroughs and stuff is almost always done at 60 frames so you don't get that jitter um and the bit rate won't that, that won't affect the bit rate in that one at all it'll be higher but that's just based for the 60 frames but it won't uh, help so much with the the, the for between uh, going 4k or hd some blessings in camera time says that they used an 80 uh yeah you know it depends what you're doing uh yeah. if, if uh, your video you are thinking of doing a lot of editing afterwards then it's better to do what andrew just described because it just gives you more leeway uh more details on editing it afterwards in the program of your choice if you are doing a video and then uh, uploading it directly or your edit is uh, uh cutting uh, basically uh, out the parts that you don't want and stitching them together mm -hmm. and you don't do any color grading or anything like that then you don't need any of this because it, it's, it's just not needed there so it's not uh, it's not necessary to make it more complicated if there is no need for that if you make yeah. more a movie style uh, a cinematic style if you do color grading then it would be maybe something you would want to look into and you're right i would say camera time but it is it puts a lot more pressure on your computer and a guy we talk about a lot here, Peter McKinnon, once again, who said it himself, he doesn't shoot, he doesn't do 4K because he just sees it as an extra step that's not necessary. So that's how, uh, that's the nice thing about what we're all doing on here is everybody has their own things. It's not necessary. It's not. It's something I like to do, and the next guy will look at me and say, what a bloody waste of time. So that's okay uh some people just do 720 and because it is a lot on a computer it's a phone uh, editing uh, people who edit on a phone my hat goes off to you because i i admire how you can do that i think it's amazing so while andrew is sending a link to james cox to be as our first guest oh my god <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm going to talk a little bit more about that but okay. for the photo part of you um for example, about talking about the quality, as don't go anywhere. James Cox is going to be in studio, by the way. Uh, taking a photographs, I do obviously some I do with my phone and some I do with my camera, which, by the way, is the Sony A6000, uh, not the newest one. But as I was saying uh, yesterday in a live stream, uh, it really doesn't matter as much for the equipment. Uh, my camera, I shoot in RAW, 
because I want to have as much editing possible uh, if I need to correct something, if I need to do a color correction, if I need to crop something out, uh, if I need to change the white balance. A, a raw file, which is much bigger than a JPEG, uh, is going to give me all that leeway. Uh, and I use Lightroom and Photoshop uh, in order to process these files. Raw files, you can't just uh, take them off the um, camera and then post them somewhere or send them. They have to be. They have to be processed. They have to be going through the software in order uh, to view them because basically, otherwise, they're all flat. But then, if I want a fast picture, uh, <coughs> or uh, when I do pictures with a with my phone, it's JPEGs. But obviously, I can't zoom in. I can't crop in and have a looseless picture, right? So it depends on your needs. Um, the same as we were just talking about the, the videos. If it's something that you shoot and you want to post right away, or you just basically crop crop it a little bit, uh, you know, uh, edit a little bit with your app, uh, as I do with the phone pictures, uh, or with the video, the same thing, then you don't need a, a bigger uh, 4K, or you don't need uh, in the video, or you don't need a raw file for your uh, pictures. But if, if you want to go into deeper editing uh, and you need more leeway, then that's when you're thinking about it, either using for photos or for videos. Um, where are you sending the link to James? I went through them already, I think. It says uh, sending James at Facebook. Oh, OK, sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, Camera time, correct? Push Studio Simple is good. I want to learn cinema shooting. Have wanted to try it since I took up photography. Thanks for the great info. Uh, well, welcome. I uh, hope you could help. Uh, um, photography would love to see more of your pictures. Are you on my Instagram? Oh, he's there. Okay. If not, come over. <laughs> there we go. So now James is on. I Now, James, you're going to have to help us. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Good, and you? I'm doing awesome. You guys are naturals now. Oh my all, God! <laughs> all this, all this BS, all this BS about oh, we're shy. We're normally behind the camera. Now look at you. I think we're you're having like, a coronary on the inside. <laughs> you're like stars. You're like shining stars. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming yes. over. We've been begging somebody for two hours, so we couldn't ask. Really? For why game. didn't Why didn't you message me? We didn't even think you were on. I went to look for you well, a while ago. Well, your channel after. was on. We thought that you were hiding that and creator channel. It was in there, wasn't it? Didn't I come in in here and and was you just saying, popped in like the wind, and then we look yeah, again, and you were gone. I am a creator. Yeah, um, I was I was having a talk with somebody on the phone about some ideas that they had, but um, oh, cool. And so cool. I just messaged. Um, you know you guys in the chat under the why you know uh, i am a creator youtube channel and uh that was it but you yeah. guys are doing awesome well, this is great i just i just gate crash and mill hill mud mowers uh mm. live stream too you're doing the rounds tonight i like yeah. that yeah i've been in i've been in mill hills i've been in you guys's the the new twitter account for the hashtag i am a creator yt that's it's amazing hash, hashtag i am a creator yt on Excellent. Twitter, so um, guys, go and follow that, you know, and uh, share the actual uh, Twitter and tell everybody that if you are part of the hashtag I'm a creator, then you need to follow hashtag I'm a creator, you know, YT on Twitter. Don't forget to uh, support the um, I, hashtag I'm a creator YouTube channel too. Let's get the supporters on there. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we just need some people like you to make some awesome videos with all the creators that are participating in this so we can get it up there on, you know, a, um, you know, uh, an intro video. Yeah, we've been actually, when some of the train guys came tonight that uh, come just, they're mostly for the train videos, but I was telling them tonight that they got to get on there as well. It'd be a great place for the, everybody to see their work and them to see others too, so. We're, yeah, I mean, we need to give credit where credit's due first to everybody that's been, you know, with this from the beginning. So yourselves, Warren, Angel Dominique, um, you know, uh, there's a lot of people that have been uh, living coast to coast. Yes. Um, uh, DJ, DJ, uh, yeah, Krimi, Krimi. Krimi. Yeah. 
Um, gone, yeah, yeah, Jimmy just uh, DJ Crimmy just left actually. Yeah, um, you know, a lot of people that keep pushing this and using the hashtag and are still supporting people and adding people to the playlist that's on my channel, right? So we have to make we have to make a you know a video, and so we have to get these people in a hangout and we have to you know get them to say some things, and then I don't know if you guys are up for editing. The video and adding yeah. some elevator music to it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll be branded with that to the end of time. And some graphics and stuff like that, and then we can get it posted on there. And then obviously we can have we can have different playlists on For there sure. of people yeah. that are you know that we see that are supporting it. We can even have a panel. I think uh, once a month we can meet on the last Saturday every month. And uh, basically, we um, if we recognize, um, we can do it live. If we recognize a creator that's been given a lot of support, be it on Twitter or, you know, they've been live streaming and, and things like that, we can give them some recognition and we can put that on the, um, you know, we could put it on the uh, on there. Sure. You know? Hey, the think, uh, limit on something like that. I think it's great. And uh, another thing, if I may, if I may, sure. um, if I may share my uh, screen, let me just um, pull this out here. <laughs> one, sec one second here. So I'll go to this and then uh, uh, share my screen. Okay, so I'm going to drop that. All right, can you see that? Yeah, and that's the YouTube channel, right? Here we have featured channels, right? So what we can actually do right here is we can feature, yeah, you know, as a spotlight, we can feature that, and we can keep bringing this up about about the feature channels, and then obviously, so somebody gets featured here for you know a period of time, and then when we have somebody else, you know, we feature them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a good. Uh, idea. There's already a um, there's already a playlist on here. It's my playlist that I've been using for the I am a creator, but we can have multiple playlists on here. Oh look, how did these guys get on here? Pusa Studios. Oh my god, it's an infectious. <laughs> these are like videos by I am a creator. So um, yeah, I mean, this is just the positivity what we can do, and we're already up to uh, forty six supporters. It's going to grow fast. And right here, if we see 46 supporters in four days, how yeah. many supporters did you have? <laughs> You've already passed us for what we had over a year. <laughs> 46 supporters, no videos. Yeah. <laughs> There's no videos on here. This is just, this just shows the power in this community. So, if you are watching this right now, if you're in the chat, go and support this channel because this is a channel that great things are going to come from. They're going to be different managers that are going to be managing this. And, you know, hopefully we can all get together. I didn't mean to come and hug your live no. stream, by the way. Just, no, and like I say, we mention it periodically through our podcast, through our uh, vlog, uh, the stream. We've been talking about it and we want everybody to hear about it. This is great new updates. So perfect. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's a, if you want me, I can, sh if you want me to, I can show you the, um, I can show you the Twitter also. If you've yeah, not we just actually went and and subscribed to your uh, Twitter, to your, to our, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, a the co -op. it's the community's Twitter. Yeah. That's yep. right. Uh, so anybody in the chat who haven't still gone, please go. I am creator Twitter account and subscribe. Uh, it's going to be all of ours. It's a co-op, uh, thing yeah <laughs> we all can be a part of it so go and do that right now oh larry's here larry johnson hey so good to see you yep absolutely and uh if, if if you want me to i can show people the twitter right now so they know that they're on the right twitter yeah sure all right so let me bring this up um blah, 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 blah. all right so all right, so this is the I am a creator 
uh, Twitter, you'll see that it's done eight tweets so far. It only has two followers. Let's see who's following it. Oh, look, Pusa Studios and James Cox is following. <laughs> All right. We're always on the ground floor. That's the best time to get in. Yeah. But, um, oh, hi and bye, Rainbow Man. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Mill Mud Mowers got tweeted. You guys got tweeted. Right. So, and, um, I was still logged into this account. So I got to be very careful. Um, this one got tweeted too. Uh, he was part of, um, he was part of, um verdict squad who's doing a lot of work too with the live streams and everything so this one got got tweeted so you know it the power of this was all coming together and doing things um i'm i'm so happy i love doing this yeah you know, i really do and um it's growing like crazy it's well on its way yeah and a lot of us have grown because of it so the proof's in the pudding, one thing I always say. <laughs> now, yeah. we always uh, know uh, more about you as a front man from, uh, for our I'm Creator movement. Uh, how about telling us a little bit more about you? Yeah. Oh, I'm being, am I being interviewed? Am I being put on the spot here? Yeah. <laughs> Twilight, we get the chance to. <laughs> okay. So. Anybody having questions to James Cox, please, <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> okay. All right, so um, I started my YouTube uh, channel uh, back in 2007. So I've been on YouTube for over 10 years, and my channel uh, didn't grow uh, very fast. Uh, it was an activist channel. Was really? So, yeah, it was, act it was an activism and nonprofit channel, yeah. That was oh. a cat category, yep. I'm sure not many people know that. Tell us more about it. Yeah, so I was so uh, unhappy with the political climate, things that was happening in the, you know, the United States since, you know, what happened. And, uh, you know, where those, uh, I don't want to mention it because YouTube has a very good way of, like, picking yeah, yeah. it up. And, but, uh, Thank the, you for doing that. <laughs> you know, uh, there was something standing in New York City that's no longer there. But anyway, yeah, so since all that happened, um, you know, and everything that was happening, I got so disillusioned and then um, I got involved, you know, trying to, you know, I had a problem. I always had a problem with politics about people and authority over oh, people having authority over people. Um, mm -hmm. To be all, to be honest with you, I, I I'm an anarchist. I don't believe in government. I think that basically nobody knows better how to run your life than you do. But I don't, you know, unless we get into a conversation. I mean, it's on my channel. So, you know, you ask me a question. No, no. And we, we, yeah, we want to know a little bit. That was the whole point was because we talked so much was just a little bit about you as a, like, yeah, what got you to this point? Like, besides I'm creator, it's, it's just more interesting, I think, when we get a little bit more personal besides... <laughs> Okay, so um, it, you guys are fine with me elaborating on this, right? Definitely. Okay, so I have lots of uh, videos on my channel, and uh, a lot of it is talking about, you know, I, you'll see that there's old live streams on there. I mean, there's even one, um, what's the difference between Charles Manson and uh, Barack Obama, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. You know, why is, why was Manson in prison? and why isn't somebody like Obama in prison, right? But we're we're delving into the realms of po politics, and so I just, you know, there's lots of there's lots of like conversations on there. Uh, I have a good friend who's an IP attorney, but he's anti IP. Oh, and um, yeah. you know, I fully agree with him. His name's Stephen Kinsella. He lives down in uh, in Texas, and. Um, there's also I got involved with because I got approached by somebody that I was good friends with. Still, I'm good friends with uh, in the anti-war movement uh, from um, antiwar.com uh, because um, you know I really hate violence and right. people using force to take from people. You know stuff that they really don't have a right uh, to to take from. Right. Mm -hmm. And so um, I was approached by her and she put my name forward to 
a nonprofit organization uh, which was called FIJA, F-I-J-A, which is the Fully Informed Jury Association, and they contacted me and they said, hey, I, I, we've we got somebody, but they're not a good fit. However, we've heard that you're a good fit and you live in Florida, and mm -hmm. we'd like to know if you would like to go and advocate for us um, about jury nullification. And I don't know if you guys know what jury nullification is, but it's when you serve on a jury, you have the right as an individual to judge not only the facts of the case but the law itself and if the law is unjust or being misapplied you have the right as one person because the power is in the individual and that's that's you know what we're doing right now it's individuals being powerful but coming together and using that power to create something magical and wonderful but you on a on a jury you have the right to say not guilty even if the other 11 people disagree with you you know, you could just say, well, I don't think the prosecutor did a very good good case. And what you were in fact doing is you're hanging the jury, right? Which okay. means that at that moment in time, so if you've got some poor soul that uh, has been put in a cage, right, um, for having a plant that uh, people in so-called power say it's illegal to have, and... Uh, you think that that's not right, that this is an unjust law because there's no victim. And so if there's no victim, there's no crime. So what crime has somebody committed uh, if, they, if they're putting something in their body, it's their body, right? And we're dictating to them and saying, you have no right to grow that. You have no right to ingest it, right? There's no victim. So where's the crime? Who has the right to tell somebody? I mean, you have every right to uh, stay at home and drink gasoline if you want. You'd be stupid to do so. But like, you mm -hmm. know, at the end of the day, we don't need laws, you know, yeah. saying this. So, you know, if you grow plants and, and, and whatever. So I'm, I was just like so upset with the system of the way it is and the fact that, you know, years ago, judges used to tell juries that they had the right to judge the facts of the case and the law itself. And actually, if you... You look in the Constitution and some of the letters back as and forwards from the founding fathers, they actually wrote about this, right? They actually wrote about jury nullification. So there was that. And then obviously there was hangouts and there's all kinds of stuff. And then, you know, I just was frustrated with with YouTube and my channel and my videos not getting any views. I mean, my channel was growing, but it was growing slowly but surely and mm -hmm. um, always frustrated about it. And then I decided just to, you know, just to make some stupid videos. I like, you know, maybe stupidity was the way to go. Mm -hmm. I always thought of myself as a creator, you know. Um, I have a video on my channel. I could pull it up. It's only a few seconds long. Uh, it's called, uh, I could share it. It's called coffee time is an sure. idea. You know, I could show it to you guys. It's a stupid, okay. but I've got stupid videos. Um, I could pull it up and, and just show it. It's like, this is so fascinating. <laughs> I, 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 we're sitting here like so, like, just taking it all in. Yeah. Um, it, it is a, um, my, my YouTube journey is a, it is a very interesting, journey mm -hmm. from um you know where i've been and uh where i am now and what i'm doing and like you'd be thinking wow i never thought that you'd be you know the this is this person you know kind of like doing this so but I do um, see a trail where it leads to it. I mean, I, I find there is a connection between your thought process and where you are now. I do see that, and it makes even more sense now after hearing that. It's a really interesting story. Yeah. So here's the coffee time video. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, it's on my channel. And... um um, I, yeah, just bits of stupidity because I thought, you know what, maybe if I start being stupid on my well, <laughs> on my channel, you know, like some of the other people, maybe it'll get some attention, maybe I'll get some supporters. Unfortunately, you know, you look at a lot of the top ones, and that's how they got there was their stupidity. A sad part of it is so, right. and then I, I wanted to, uh, 
make a movie and i still do want to make that movie oh. it's it's called body i i wrote it myself i wrote the script and everything and i got some people together but unfortunately we never got to finish the movie and i i spent oh. so much time trying to get them all to come back um uh, because yeah. this because three of them live so far away you know it's just so hard to try and get them to come back to finish it and uh so uh, i ended up just posting that it's on my channel it's about 10 minutes long um, unfortunately it's unfinished but uh i made a i made a movie i made a short movie I made a couple of short movies uh one uh some people laugh at it it's called in my shoes okay um you know you might want to give that a watch definitely uh, and then body and then um yeah so i started doing that and then obviously uh youtube then uh changed the policy people had to get you know i think it was like ten thousand uh views in order to get verified you know to be part of the program and i'd already you know i'd already got that you know i was up at like three thousand something yeah yeah pretty decent sized channel and i already had the watch time because if you go and look at my most viewed uh videos it's me standing outside courthouses being harassed by federal agents and police officers we have to go back and watch some of the old stuff yes. Be yeah, no. because i'm you know i'm handing out this information and the courts don't want people to know that you know the judge is just a referee right right but you know they wear this black dress and they think they're almighty and, and powerful and you know um they would they would let people know let the their um the minions the uh order followers as they call them right. you know come out and say hey you can't do this here i'm like what do you mean i can't do this here isn't there such thing as freedom of speech in this country and the right to express oneself i mean you know i mean you didn't you you know swear an oath to this magical document that these people you know wrote and signed the constitution i mean doesn't that mean anything to you type of thing mm -hmm. and so they get you know they want to be very happy and i managed to capture it on video some of it and um yeah it just it just basically shows the you know the state of affairs that you know when you put on a uniform and is there any order that you wouldn't follow yeah so it's it's you know it's you know it's crazy but anyway moving forward to more something more positive so the ten thousand happened and then as we all know this ypp thing happened and i was hesitant whether i was going to get involved in it or not and uh, you know my first video which has got the thumbnail on it says 1000 subscribers 4000 watch hours i think that was the beginning of this journey of what has it been now two months just over two months two months and a about and that a yeah and in a week or something like that yeah so I made that video and basically in that video I said, look, you know, um, YouTube's a private, you know, company and uh, they can do whatever they want and yep. uh, they can change the rules as and when. But however, I don't think it's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking of this now, they're Indian givers, aren't they? They're giving, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're giving something and then taking it away. So basically they gave all these people because you know bad actors on the platform that never got punished you know they never ne nothing ever happened to them they got uh, rewarded and, yeah ended up causing this problem yep for a lot of people on youtube well which I mean, maybe it which maybe an anarchist dream i mean it was supposed to be the anti of everything that we were forced to watch growing up and that was the hard part when they started clamping down when money got involved heavily and you're right, they are a private business and they can do whatever they choose to do. Just a lot of us felt rejected on the premise that they had started off to be the opposite. But that's what happens with most good causes, as we all know. Starts mm -hmm. off righteous and then money becomes involved and the goals start to fade away. And yeah. now we have Jimmy Kimmel is the main feature, which that really bugs me. Not that I don't like Jimmy Kimmel. i just not so crazy about having him on YouTube, to be honest. Yeah, I mean... You know, so yeah, all the major networks are on here now. I mean, yep. you've even got um, Will Smith and, you know, all the stars have channels on here. Yep. And, you know, I mean, it, it's it's turned into TV 
And, yes, you know, I mean, it's okay. I mean, hopefully we'll bring some of those people that are supporters of, of, of these people to come and support this. And yeah. uh, let's, you know, let's see the the real power in, in, in people when they've got nothing but love and um, caring and, um, you know, your philosophy is kindness and we yeah. can – you know we can change things uh, anyway so back back to it um the ypp happened and then when that did i like i say i was hesitant and i made that video and then after that um video i put the video up i came across a video which somebody had used and i didn't know at the time they'd use mckenzie's i'm a creator video in the front of theirs and i can't even remember because I've watched so many, you know, videos on YouTube. Can't remember <laughs> where it was, but you know, obviously, I got it wrong, and it wasn't. I don't believe it was a hashtag. So I decided because I thought it was. I am a creator, and I put hashtag I'm a creator in that, you know, video. I say, "Welcome to my backyard, isn't it beautiful?" That's that's the video, and I think when I say that, people know which video i'm talking about mm -hmm. and uh, that was the one that had the hashtag i'm a creator and i thought to myself okay i'm frustrated because and i've been frustrated for a long time mm -hmm. because youtube does not have a place on it on this huge platform where we can go and find people that are um not on the um there's three things there's home there's yeah, uh the trending trending and then you whoever you're supporting yeah. yeah whoever you're whoever you are supporting them, them channels and you know you can go watch those and i'm like there isn't a tab for anybody that uh, is new right that has less than ten thousand supporters or five thousand supporters or 500 there's no search feature where you can say show me all the channels you know with less than uh 500 or less than 50 yeah. or less than 100 right there's there isn't that well, and the children yeah and you know there's a frustration that um you know um I, i'm like you know what maybe we can create our own uh community because youtube is all about community i mean after all they advocate community guidelines you broke the community guidelines so mm -hmm. let's start our own community let me try and get this marketed and 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 uh, put out there and hopefully you know we can get some eyes on this and hopefully we can get a community grow in and people can participate and we can all be involved in this and we can watch yeah. each other's videos and so in that video i mentioned you know create a playlist right you yeah. know I've, I've got a playlist you know because my um 1000 4000 video was you know getting some traction and a lot of people were commenting on there and I thought, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put every single one of these people that have come on here because they're all positive, nice comments. And I'm going to put all. I'm going to put their video. That's the the last video that they made. I'm going to put that on. Sorry about my dogs. No, I'm, I'm going to put that on my playlist, and I'm going to go through in the order that the comments came through. So the first comment, you know, I went to their channel, and it took me like over two hours to put 140 videos because I it meant going to their channel you know, uh, adding it to the playlist, right? And then changing it to a collaboration and doing that. And I added, went through 140 comments and 140 videos were added. And that's the story of the playlist. And then I was encouraging people to watch the playlist and comment on those videos because these are people that are participating in this. And then I tried to tell everybody to, you know, um, if you've not got a Twitter account, you need to go on Twitter. And I think it was just over, it was just information overloaded. Telling them Twitter, telling them that I know that all the big, all the big YouTube people, they have a Reddit, they have a subreddit because that's how they get their, you know, 
that's how they get their views so fast because people are in these subreddits they're supporting and youtube does it doesn't do a very good job of that too and so um yeah so I was trying to tell everybody how we should all get connected because some of the platforms the social media platforms they're not very good and that um by being on Twitter, we can tweet and retweet. And if we use the hashtag, we can find each other. If we use the hashtag in our uh, titles of our videos, in the about section of our videos, in the in our tags, that way it's an identifier. And if people want to come and search anybody that is part of the hashtag I'm a creator community, they just have to put that in either Twitter or YouTube and they can find people. That way they can follow them on, on Twitter and then tweet to them once they follow them saying, Hey, I'm now following you hashtag. I am a creator. And then they can follow back. Mm -hmm. And this thing, you know, it's snowballing and I can see, and I go, you know, I go on to Twitter, go on to Twitter and type in hashtag. I am a creator. And I see how many people are tweeting this and, are, you know, part of it. And I go on to YouTube and I see how many people are using hashtag. I am a creator. And it's really, really phenomenal. And this thing's growing, it's growing. And I'm having live streams and then I'm telling people to have live streams and, you know, I just think it was, too, you know, information overload. But now it looks like people are doing it. And I can understand that people are shy. It's a lot easier that even if you are a creator to stand in front of a camera and edit out all the ums and ahs and errs and things like that, right? Yeah. It's a lot easier. And then obviously, like you guys, that you're more behind the camera in front of it, you're a little bit, you know, camera Gunshot. shy. Yeah, camera shine and you don't want to be in front of it. But you know, you're only gonna get over that feeling if you get in front of the camera. And what better than doing it live? You know, if you can stand here right now, you're broadcasting, right? You're broadcasting to the world. Yeah. Anybody who has internet around the world can tune into this and watch it. Right. And it's and it's and it's awesome. You know, the fact that we have this technology at our fingertips and that we can use this to build an awesome community, right? And we can do such wonderful things and everything's so positive and we're keeping <laughs> it positive. And so, um, yeah, basically it, you know, from trying to get everybody involved on um a uh, twitter and um uh, uh you know on reddit and things like that and explaining to people about the hashtag why it's important to use the hashtag it's an identifier even in your comments if you use hashtag i am a creator in your comments and somebody clicks on that it's going to take you to to videos yeah. you know and you know it's just uh, you know so uh, you guys have probably been following my channel. You'll 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 see that I've hardly made any any videos. I mean, I did. I made one where I was sat in my car, and I'm like, you know, this is a um, I'm sat in traffic. I'm like, this is a great opportunity to use a metaphor of like, here we are, we're sat, and right now you're sat part of this hashtag I'm a creator community, but you're going to get moving, and then obviously the you know the guy with the stop sign he turns it round to s slow and i'm talking and it, that that video is called hashtag i am a creator the road to success and people have commented on that wow what a great metaphor that you're stuck in traffic and you know you you're talking about how we can all get moving and this that, and the other and so a lot of it you know has been like videos where i'm in the house or live streams there's one there about hashtag I am a creator, Twitter, why it and the hashtag I am a creator is important. And this is just all videos that I'm ho it was hoping that people and, and it is, it's starting to sink in. And um, but I've done you know the majority of my videos are lately, which I love. I love doing live streams, I love having guests and love them to tell their success stories to everybody because. You know, if somebody comes and you tell them, you know, they say, you know what, my YouTube video, my YouTube channel, I, I, I think I make absolutely fantastic, you know, videos, mm -hmm. but I just can't get people 
to see them. You know, I don't get any, you know, and you go and you look and you say, wow, you really do. You're, you're making short movies and you're, you're getting all these people together and they're taking, you know, the time to come and, and act in front of the camera for you and you're editing them. I'm just giving you an example. And you're only getting a couple of hundred views and you basically have no, hardly anybody supporting your channel. Mm -hmm. You need, you need hashtag. I am a creator. You know, it's hard to get somebody to. <laughs> uh, I know you're very uh, tightly connected with the hashtag. Uh, I think people are asking in the chat as well. What would you like to do as your next video, your own video? You you have been devoted a lot of your time to the hashtag, and uh, also you have such an amazing backstory. What would be something that you would like to be doing for you as the next video? What we can look forward to? Well. You know, it all takes money and time and everything, but I would like to get into the as just like I was saying on Warren's um live stream before here. I'd like to make movies, right? I'd like to have people like you guys that are awesome with a camera participate in mm -hmm. in that. I'd like to do a collaboration, maybe a documentary. Who knows? Maybe one day there'll be a hashtag I'm a create a documentary about all this and our live streams and stuff like that, clips of our live streams. We'll, we'll be in it, you know, explaining uh, about the people that have participated in this and what their backstory was and, you know, all that stuff. Um, it's a great yeah. idea. Yeah. Would, you know, uh, I would like to, you know, make um, more videos. I mean, the weather's not been too good. I mean, even the, you know, when I made the you know, uh, 1,000, 4,000 video, you see the snow on the ground there, mm. and it was freezing. <laughs> and uh, I was out of the cold, and the even the one where I'm sat by, you know, the lake, the, the second video I made, it was still cold. You know, I'm out in the freezing cold. <laughs> you know. I'm sorry. Jada Diva reviews wrote, Brad Pitt is going to play me, LOL. <laughs> Brad Pitt's going to what? <laughs> Oh, JD uh, Dio wants to appear in your movie played by Brett, Brad Pitt. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, and I think it's a great idea. It's definitely something uh, to do. But I think people are really looking forward to your content as well. And and now I know, again, you tied it up to the hashtag I'm creator. Uh, and I think you have lots uh, to offer beyond that as well. And people are really eager to see your uh, videos. It's just because we're getting to know you a bit more, like what you were like a while ago, because we haven't had much of a chance to discuss that stuff. And it's just amazing. Like you have such a backstory. <laughs> like, yeah. What I should have done is just shut my mouth and said, well, if you really want to know about me and what I'm all about, just go to my YouTube channel and find out my backstory by, you know, <laughs> one, once you're on videos, just, yeah. just oh, select. Absolutely. Just you select oldest. Yes. Just just select oldest first, and just watch all my videos right from back when to to now, and you'll and you'll know, you know, till when you get caught up, and you'll know my backstory. And um, yeah, it's it's been a tough it's been a tough ride on YouTube, and um, I really do like making videos, and uh, I like live streaming like what we're doing and i like passing this information on to people and educating them and explaining to them how we can all grow right and we can i think it's possible when i say hashtag seven figures for everyone i mean it i mean it from my heart right we can develop this where if you think big we can be we can be big right and i know we can and when i say go to my playlist on my channel the uh hashtag i am a creator support playlist and watch those videos and you know put your um put your uh actions and what i mean by actions is your mouse click right so if you like the video uh, you want and, and you you your action while you're sat in front of the computer so and to give you an example to give everybody that's seeing this and listening to this for the first time put in the comment section is an example i watched your video that's an action you now communicate in your action i liked your video that's an action you went with your mouse and you clicked the thumbs up button i hit the red 
support button. I'm now supporting you. That's an action. You took your mouse, you hovered it over the support button, you you clicked it. If you have a Twitter an account and you tweeted, you know, you tweeted it, I tweeted your video. Yeah. And then put something in there. Put your actions in the comment because people are not seeing this, right? YouTube doesn't do a very good job. Again, this is a platform where people are putting their videos out to the world audience. Why, mm -hmm. why isn't YouTube letting the creator know who watched that video, who liked that video, and if they're, you know, uh, all the supporters and they've got their channel locked where it's on private, which I don't mind, you know, I think so. But if, you know, why doesn't it let them know you? They're only let, they're only sharing that information with you. Why doesn't it let you know who, who, who supported and who, who tweeted? Right, I think, and and so by doing that, by putting all your actions, putting all your actions in that comment section, mm -hmm. is a wonderful thing. Not only for the creator, but other creators that come and stop by and see that, they're like, "Wow, look at what this poor person wrote." They mm -hmm. told this person they watched the video, they liked the video. They supported them by hitting the red support button and they tweeted it. And they even mentioned something about something that's in the video. I'm going to go and check this person out, you know, boom. The, and then the, you know, hopefully they do the same. Hey, I saw you over on so-and-so's channel. Just to let you know, I'm supporting you now and I liked your video. Mm -hmm. You know, it can have a, it's a, such a positive thing. It can have such a knock on snowball effect. The fact that, you know, especially if you mention hashtag, I am a creator in the comment too. You know, people are going to say, well, what's this hashtag I'm a creator all about? Maybe they'll comment as well. What well, you know, I noticed you used hashtag I'm a creator. I clicked on that. There's people making videos with hashtag I'm a creator. No, I noticed that there's thousands of them. What's this all about? It's a it's an opportunity to to let people know. I'm surprised you guys in your live stream don't have hashtag I'm a creator in it. Well, that yeah, that's uh, see, we are actively supporting the community, but at the same time, uh, we we are a business page as well. So we are right. we are more into actions and, yeah. and less in words. I think we've <laughs> I think we've been pretty good with the community, and we've absolutely been pushing you up. have. I just you know yeah. I was thinking that you know if you uh, if you're looking for people to come and actually uh, give you more watch hours, right? If if you want to more watch hours right now that when you put your video out, I mean, you can always go and remove it later on. Yeah. Right? You can have it in the tags. I think that when it gets tweeted, you, you tweet your live, right? Yeah. Yes, definitely. So when you first start broadcasting and you want to bring people here to watch and you know, you tweet your live, mm -hmm. if it's got hashtag I'm a creator at the beginning, when it hits Twitter, it's going to have hashtag I'm a creator there. So people are yeah. going to see, it's part of the community and they're going to probably want to home in, but you know, I mean, if uh, you guys I definitely do that and I always edit uh, the tweets uh, that I do to add the hashtag I'm creator in it, even when I directly tweet it from mm -hmm. uh, YouTube. Uh, so that's why it's always uh, shown up there as mm -hmm. well, for sure. I wanted just to say hi to all the um, mud mower community that I've seen popping up here. Uh, Mill Hill mud mowers. Hi. And I see you have brought over some of your, uh, um, friends, <laughs> yes, definitely. That's, that's because, uh, when, that's because when I gate crashed Warren's uh live stream, I told him that I'm gonna have to go now because I'm gonna try and gate, gate crash uh, <laughs> You're studios. Making tonight. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> well, thank you. You came by with the friends too, so the yes. more the merrier. That's great. <laughs> oh, it was nice that uh, I've seen some of the train guys were back. I don't know if they're still here or not. I hope so. Uh, yeah, the ones that were coming here at the very beginning uh, are uh, were back. Uh, for a while. Uh, I don't know if they are there or not. <laughs> for sure. Seven blessings, of course, is always a pleasure. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, last question to you, James, before, before we end the, the stream. Yeah, we've been going almost, yeah, we're over three hours. Holy wow. wow. <laughs> I didn't think we had that much to say. You guys, uh, you guys are uh, live stream junkies, aren't you? Yeah, I guess so. I guess we're starting to become. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> you really worked your magic with us. <laughs> uh, so, last question to you. Um, as as with everything what you were saying about changing the world and being an anarchist, and I'm creator and putting that all together, uh, if you would have one wish to change something tomorrow, what it would be? Just mm. one. I'm interested in this one. I'll put my feet back for that. 
I want people to put more love in their hearts and think about, you know, what's going on in the world and uh, don't, you know, don't follow uh, hatred. I think that, you know, being more loving and, and kindness is, you know, and peaceful is, is a game changer. Mm. And uh, if I could change, if I could change, um, one thing in the world right now, I would want people to be more loving. Remember, people, war is over if you want it. Mm -hmm. They're the words of John Lennon. War is over if you want it. We don't need to be at war with one another. And good ideas uh, don't need to be, you know, uh, coercion does not need to be used uh for a good idea to to be good right mm -hmm. they're bad ideas if you have to use threats of violence and force uh for an idea to uh, to work then it's not a good idea is it it's not a good idea so you know great ideas and good ideas don't need uh the threats and acts of violence threats and and that and um just put a little love in your heart just put a little love in your heart. I just want people to be more loving, caring, more positive, and think about think about um, what's happening before you get involved with it. That's that's basically it, really. That's 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 a good. That's, couldn't say it any better if you tried. I think it's a great way of uh, <laughs> yeah. ending. Well, we have a question here. I got to also touch on to Camaro time it asked, and then Twisted Mowers backed him up. And ask what is the future of Pusha Studios? Hmm. And I've been thinking about it ever since you wrote it, and but I got, then got caught in James's answer because I was very curious to hear what he was going to say. What's the future of Pusha Studios? Well, first and foremost, we're a business in Montreal. Uh, we're hoping to expand more. Um, we are primarily video and photography um corporate and uh personal youtube has opened up a lot uh, i am creator has opened up a lot for us um the live stream is interesting we're definitely warming our feet up into it it's been a bit of an adjustment but a, i'd say a fun one but bit nerve-wracking <laughs> yeah well this is yeah. the second time and look this is the third hour of us doing it and never would have thought that two days ago yeah uh thank you very much for all the support uh, so maybe i'll build a little bit of that i love I, lo I love all you guys it, it means a lot every time i see one of you just pop in and that it definitely builds up uh our stamina for this and our enjoyment for it i love maybe on the fourth live stream you'll do four hours <laughs> oh my god <laughs> It's the, 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 the first one, five. It's going to be tune in with the day with Pusha yeah, Studios. Oh, day with Pusha Studios. I don't know if we're so exciting. <laughs> Camaro, wow. me you're awesome. You, it's your second stream, right? And you got 15 people in here right now and 25 likes on your, on your, um, on your live stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, thank you it's so amazing. much. <laughs> don't know. It's me. amazing. Reese Mills. Off-road adventures. I would love to. I I would love very to support the two that are on the live stream, but I don't know who they are. Oh, we're Pusha Studios. You can see our. Uh, we popped up about uh, four lines ago. Yeah, that's uh, that's who we are. And uh, James Cox, of course. Yes. Uh, our I am creator. <laughs> <laughs> so go over and if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do and uh, watch his lives and uh, join the playlist as well. as well. It will definitely get you a lot of. I think I think you're already on to it. If I'm not mistaken, are you not? Well, if you're not, then definitely. Do yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's where we all grew. I so many familiar faces that grew from there. We got Jada Diva, Bottle Caps. Uh, Resorian Buck. So you have been here from the very start. My God, three hours. You're a champ. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> My God, you watched us go through all of our hurdles. I, I, I admire your bravery. And seven blessings is still here too. My God, thank you so yes. much. 
Thank you so much for everybody. And please, if anybody wants to be our guest in our uh, next one, so be our tryout. Yes, for <laughs> sure. James was today. James always is a great guy to have on first. I, uh... Please message us on YouTube, on Twitter, Instagram, or anywhere else you see us. Also, if you have any suggestions for any questions or something more uh, focused that we can do on some of our live streams, is photo, video, and social media, please text us our messages and we will try to answer your questions. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You said it all. I agree. Do you have anything to add? No. <laughs> you, you, you nailed it. <laughs> so. Happy Easter, everyone who yes. uh, is celebrating. And a little plug in if you would like to download your free Easter card, uh, go to Twitter or Facebook and on our first pinned post you can follow the link and download and share your free easter cards and now james would you like to say something about uh, i am creator before they leave yeah where's my money <laughs> I, 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 I was looking for the quarter a while ago i don't know what happened to you it's in a transfer <laughs> yeah, we're just we're just messing about the quarter, the Canadian quarter, cause like, you know, the dirty word, the S U B S R I, uh, I B E word. You oh. know, when it comes out, it's like you've got to put money in the swear jar. So that's what we're messing around at because um, Andrew here, you know, <laughs> was in the beginning using it a lot. Not so much now. <laughs> I'm the Antichrist. I I just want to say something, guys. If you're not already supporting uh, Pusha Studios and you're not following them on Twitter, um, go and do that. You know, uh, su support their channel by hitting that red support button. Uh, put a like on this live stream, or and basically as well. What, if you're not watching this live, or you are watching this live, come back after the video's finished, the live stream's finished, and leave a comment saying that you watched this live. That's much appreciated. And don't forget to tweet it too, so that people get to see it. It's, uh, I think it takes a lot of, um, Sweet and a lot of courage to get in front of the camera and do this, especially when things, you know, can go wrong. Um, you know, it, it's live, you're not editing things out. So, but, um, yeah, it takes a lot of confidence and, um, you guys are awesome. I'm so glad that you decided to get in front of the camera and Thank do you. this and help carry the torch just like Warren from, uh, yes. Mill Hill, Mud Mowers, and Angel Dominique, and everybody that's, you know, taken my advice and they're now live streaming. Kudos to you all. You're all great. And uh, I hope to gate crash uh, your live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so amazing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate every one of you. Um, hope to see you really really soon again like xenia said if you want to be on please because we want to start doing more taking one to two people on and really having a discussion about what led them to where they are on youtube what they're doing on youtube uh it's all about the people get all personal with Pusha studios yes there you go there she's <laughs> she's on the fly so. when you when you sign out are you going to do the peace flip flops and gandhi <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> My big tagline is to everybody is the same advice I give anyone here is to keep creating. Love Absolutely. I agree with that. And looking forward to your next installment. Keep it up, guys. You have a great night. Thank you so much. Bye. We'll talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.